I'm gonna bribe it to you. Let's get it on blue, 29th. Let's get it on. Fell out alpha, please. Hey, uh, Anderson, uh, Logan joined, so there's four on AA. That's fine. Private Diego is having trouble slotting. Can we get him slotted up on Alpha 1, please? All right. Uh, let's get 242 on red. 242, go X. Sparks. Working on it. And any individual players that we have, go red for, please, and just fill in the teams. So to give you all a quick call out in case you missed it, we have CSC on red, we have 242 on red, we have the 29th on blue, we have the second on blue. This is SR on red, FK on red, TWS on red, AA on red, 1RW on red, Centaur on blue, individual players on red, and Cadian on red. Is there anyone that I am missing? Alrighty, go ahead and make sure you all are getting in the server. I know that we are still waiting on a bunch to get in. Other than that, uh, we can go ahead and have our platoon leaders get started. Boston, 60 seconds on the clock, get your platoon together. Carpenter, you're taking uh, Alpha Squadly, correct? Uh, yes, yeah, second I can get in. I'm having some difficulty. Roger, roger. Alright, just checking over the rest of it. Honestly, I don't think we need the mat team. I might pull my guys out of that and just do a fire team. If you'd like us to, Boston. Uh. RPGs are good against No, stay, stay as the mat team. Uh, we're good with as we go as soon Alpha as Carpenter gets Alpha 2 does not have... There we go. Yep. Uh, Red 4 is all good. Alrighty. Corporal Drake, you have 60 seconds on the clock. Uh, keep in mind that the Bravo squad leader will fill and there'll be a couple more coming in for Bravo 2. Roger that. Let me get uh, Sholand and Ramirez to fill out Alpha 2 for me. Uh, Ramirez, grab the TL, please. Got it. Which one of my teams is the anti-air? It, it's not a team specific, it's just uh, there's a crate where you spawn that you can grab a stinger from. There are one times, copy that, so I'll get to assign that to whoever I feel like. I just haven't done it before. Are you good, Drake? Pending Bravo, good to go. Okay, yeah, our squad leader's coming in. Uh, quick thing, if I may interject. Hoyt, can you drop down to Alpha Squadmatic? Delta's missing a team leader, or a squad leader as well. I'm also going to make a, a quick numerical adjustment here. Can I get... Um... Who do I have on red that's in short numbers? Let me go ahead and get TWS and FK. If you all could come over to blue for me just to balance this out a little bit better. Yeah, Kowak, go D uh, leader. If you insist. Hmm. 
Alrighty, we'll go ahead and get this thing pushed to map screen. Man, Martin, it's a beefy load. Always is, baby. It's only one megabyte. Oh, Come yeah. on oh, now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> one megabyte across seventy people. Nice. We are doomed. Here in California, we call it a nollie bite. Special pictures he snuck in. When I was in the core, we had one kilobyte for a whole platoon, <laughs> and we had to share the Wi-Fi. <laughs> you, you know what they call Boomer, a megabyte you didn't even in have France? Wi-Fi. What do they call a megabyte in France? I need to know. Royale with bite. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think that's worth a kick or something. I hate all of Possibly that. even a ban. Yeah. I, I failed French twice. Explain that to me. It's okay. The French failed themselves twice. Once for each world war. <laughs> wow. True. I don't know. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they won both of those. But okay. Listen. Yeah. They actually hey, got me. Right. I'm pretty sure. All right. Break. 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 What is our brief? Okay. Tech defense. So, did a bit of a rewrite at sector control. So this is in tech defense sector control. The only really main difference is that. Uh, you can hold the sector as long as you have one person alive and conscious, so it's no longer a majority So the attackers have to make sure that they clear everyone out of the sector uh, and then uh, This particular mission. It's got to be done in order. So attackers got to go one two and then three and that's it Alrighty any questions from our platoon leaders Sectors be retaken by defenders. Nope Okay All righty, without further ado, good luck, have fun. Round one of FNF starts right now. All right, how are you guys doing? I'm doing good. How are you all doing? I'm doing well. Lear, how are you doing? Ah, uh, good That's in the hood, my man. Oh, thank. Wow, wow. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm doing okay, Barb. <laughs> I don't know, Warwick's doing okay as well, but uh, how are you guys doing otherwise? I had my first day of work, and so I'm relaxing with uh, a little bit of wine and two fucking big-ass cans of beer. Cag. Warwick, what about you? How are you relaxing on this fine evening? I have... Where'd my bottle of vodka go? A nice little oh. bottle of cheap Smirnoff. Ooh. Damn, I, I have tap water, because I got plastered yesterday. <laughs> Yes, you did. Off a of cider, no less. The only man and that I know that could get. Oh yeah, and mead. Okay, sorry. Mr. I know you gotta add that extra for me. Okay, I'm a lightweight. Listen, mead's mead's good. I I, I make my own mead. Oh, I'm not saying I'm I'm not trying to to bash on the goodness of mead. I'm just saying that's it's like what thirteen percent tops. Uh, Lear, would you like to enlighten us on the ABV of your I, two drinks? I don't know. I know it's higher up, but it, it can it it can get uh, it can get pretty <laughs> spicy. Hmm. That's fair. That's fair. I could run downstairs real quick, but I'll do that during the intermission. Let's cover the fight we've got going right now. So from what I saw on the roster, it is a thirty-five or so on op four versus a twenty-six on blue four. Op 4 has an MI-24 with a uh, little chin turret, so that's a massive uh, 762 turret. They've also got a BTR-80. Also looking at the roster, they have a very hefty Delta squad with three MG teams and their AT. Meanwhile, Blue 4 determined to spread things out around two squads of infantry and a mat team as well as some auxiliary units my number one question though is i noticed that the mat team guy was given a javelin if that is an rhs javelin that can be used to take the aircraft out as well even though i did note that they uh did get a stinger in a box so i'll be curious to see if that happens uh for this operation I... so um I, I i'll just to step in real quick i think from last week we determined that that is the rhs javelin though i'm wow um, i don't think we we completely confirmed that but i think we're going off of that assumption mm -hmm. also the mi-24's uh nose turret is 12.7 not 7.62 so uh a lot more deadly than uh the little 7.62 um you know by 54 r whatever you could uh, I, yeah. I do believe it is the rhs javelin uh because 
last week in the second round off, uh, one of Blue Four's uh, transport helos, their uh, Blackhawk, I do believe was taken by a Javelin. Hmm. In the big two-hour one? Yes. Oh, well, we this missed was, that. This was, tor this was towards the uh, end of it. During It was uh, during that big open push through the field. Uh, we had just... Uh, I, I, I was part of that assault, and uh, our team had just really just gotten off of that Blackhawk, and it went to lay down fire on the zone. Checking the armament uh, real quick. And then we get the call out, Blackhawk down. <laughs> uh, classic. Shoutcast brought to you by Leroy Shenanigans. So I'm, I'm actually looking up right now, because I could have sworn that that primary turret fires 7.62, not 12.7. But Wikipedia is not working with me right now. It has the info yeah. buried somewhere else. But I, I can assure you that that fire is seven six two and not twelve point seven. I'm looking at myself as well, because I would be happy to prove you wrong any chance I can get. Yeah. Yes, um, it is the Yak B twelve point seven, a twelve point seven four barrel machine gun. Range practical 1500 meters, um, up to 4500 rounds per minute. All right, I guess it's uh 12.7 then. I think if I uh, my autism might be off, but I believe it's like 12.7 by like 111 or something like yeah. that. Yeah, so like even chunkier than the uh, American uh 12.7 M2. Regardless, I am looking at the kits of the Russian forces. Uh, we got one marksman in the midst here, quite a few machine guns. But I'm also kind of curious to see what their ingress route will be. I mean, they got multiple gases for, you know, in between the teams and squads. They could deploy eight people through the MI-24. They could use the uh, T, excuse me, the uh, BTR-80 to transport a few guys, and they could literally just push up this MSR, but they do have to go for Sector 1 first. Really, what yeah. I'm seeing is all of this forest right here is going to give them a shit ton of concealment and cover to get up to Sector 1 right off the bat. What I'm thinking is they're going to have a majority of their teams move up uh, through the north and the east. Maybe not necessarily the east, though, because it is a little bit of a seldom cover there, but the BTR-80 position there would be a good call. Uh, except for fear of that javelin, but uh, they could also position guys on the southern side where the forest uh, cuts off and do overwatch from that vector as well because this big open field. So that marksman is definitely going to be useful, but I don't know. Just the zones I'm looking at, a lot of these buildings, I'm trying to check. It looks like they are enterable, so we've got that... Um, uh, that one mod that's been uh, circulating a lot that uh, did internal textures for um, all those Chernar uh, Chernar Russian buildings as well as um, what you might call it uh, contact DLC adding some additional textures. So uh, Viral Thali does use from uh, I believe contact DLC. So not all of these uh, sectors are pure uh, cereal boxes, but there are a few buildings that aren't the best for use. We'll just have to see how everything goes. I'm really curious to see how Blue 4 is going to position their guys. I'm really curious to see how Op 4 is going to deploy their units to try to push into Sector 1. Yeah, the way, two ways that I can really see them, Op 4 doing this is uh, going on down the MSR and then taking that northwestern side road. Barolati, I know, I'm sorry. Ah! and kind of taking the long way. Alternatively, they could continue along that MSR and that uh, go into that clearing Thanks, at uh, 037 I was 123 wrong. and use that clearing to move up and possibly dismount either at Suopelto or the high ground over there because that does technically uh, make it defilade because of just the relative uh, elevation of the terrain. The one thing I'm, I'm really questioning right now is just how heavy Opt4 is on the Delta team, especially when on the uh, 
when you're on the assault, having the uh, the MMG teams, having one is that 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 can be that can be okay and that can work to your advantage. But when you're a little heavy on them, it uh, it tends to just slow the approach and slow the assault down. So what I'm seeing is uh, from that Delta marker for Red Four, I'm seeing three PKPs, a number of AKs with GP25s, and uh, the Red Four does have the Titan launcher to uh, uh, give them essentially a javelin as well. I don't know how that javelin's gonna work for them. Uh, if it's gonna behave like an RHS one, they could lock on to an infantry guy and hit him, but I don't think that's going to be too, too useful unless they do try to put him in some sort of overwatch position. Maybe saving those uh, AT rounds for the enemy javelin guy and even the uh, stinger guy if they can find him. Yeah, I, it, it, I think it really matters uh, if they have a singular rock or missile to use with it or if they have multiple. Um, I believe they do have uh, at least two, possibly three, but that would just be my guess. I because, do believe um, that the assistant carries one extra for the javelin. And I can see on the Titan uh, operator for Red Four that he does have a backpack, which could theoretically hold as a uh, second uh, Titan missile. So we'll see how that uh, plays out, I suppose. Because the, the one time that we saw that last week, um, the javelin operator, who I believe was Victor Reznov, got he, killed um, immediately. Yeah, he got suppressed off the bat, and then just they never let up, and they ended up uh, killing him. And no other blue fort could uh, rescue his javelin. So I'm looking at blue four right now. Looks like they're deploying a squad to sector one right now. The other two are in reserve. Blake is going to be the javelin gunner for blue four here, but I have not seen anyone take the stinger out yet. So I'm going to be curious to see who that goes to, because uh, if I was in his shoes, I'd literally just hunker down somewhere uh, towards the side of the map. Uh, probably if I had a um, marksman, I'd give the stinger to him so he could hang back. And when that 24 shows up, that's a easy kill right off the bat. Mm -hmm. And our marksman for Blue Four today will be uh, Gunnery Sergeant Quigley. He's still talking with command over by the M2s, and they're still trying to formulate a plan. Um, but yeah, Finn and they, them are playing on the ground today, um, yes. It, it, do they say it's a stinger, recon. like just a, you know, a man pad stinger, or is it the stinger chair? It's a man pad stinger. Uh, it's supposed oh. to be in that cargo crate next to them, but we're also seeing Blue Force starting to deploy those uh, 50 cals. Uh, in my opinion, statics are some of the most underutilized things in Arma 3, but if utilized properly, they could uh, shoot the hell out of the crew for the BTR-80, for example. A lucky few hits could actually knock the pilot out of the MI-24. Uh, and if Op4 does not micro their route properly and gets caught in an open field, that 50 cal can easily shred anyone that's in the open to smithereens. So I'll be curious to see where they put those in position, how they adjust them, and just how useful they are for this operation. Because again, this is a 26 blue 4 versus about 35 Op4. So we did have a few extras join in as everyone was being pushed in, so those numbers could be skewed a little slightly. Let's also not forget yeah. that the uh, 50s could uh, not just knock the pilot out of the MI-24, but uh, could mangle the primary rotors and the stabilizer rotors mm -hmm. as well on that thing. Yeah, and it just uh, as a matter of Blue 4 being able to build around them, they yeah, do have access three to uh, trenches and... Uh, a fortified tool and we see over at Mannerheim building his own version of the Mannerheim line uh, with some uh, Hescos and bunkers and such so if they're able to utilize that M2 properly and give it a very focused um, cone of fire I think uh, it could if the stars align it could really turn the tide for this for the blue four oh Mannerheim you've built the Hescos the wrong way around yeah I noticed that too he absolutely <laughs> did yeah my one no. fear with the statics, though, and I'm trying to find him, is there is, uh, let's see, Stray Dog has a scoped SVD. So if they aren't, if they get two lax with those statics and Stray Dog gets a moment to scout them out, he could easily snipe the uh, gunners off of the M2 turrets. So we'll have so to see where those, he gets positioned. With those two M2s, we see Montgomery uh, and... Um... I believe it is, yeah, Montgomery and Firefighter have one each. I don't know what the third one is, but Montgomery is up in the building that they're holding in Sector 1 uh, that they've built up around. 
Um, he's uh, not the best position in my opinion, but Firefighter has placed down one in the small bunker uh, just outside of it with some decent cover. Um, I think that would be an effective position if they try and go around uh, <laughs> that is facing east northeast. So if they try, Barb, go, Barb, I hate to interrupt you. Which Montgomery do you mean? We have a Lance Corporal Montgomery, and we have a Private First Class Montgomery. Oh, do we actually? Yeah, uh, if you look a little to the northwest on A1 marker, you got PFC Montgomery. <laughs> You've got. Oh lord! Uh, I mean Lance Corporal Montgomery. Um, okay. To the east, inside the second one circle right now be the 2MRB Montgomery and the other Montgomery is I believe 29th ID. Yep. So a uh, imitator, gotcha. Now I do like how aggressive Blue 4 is being cutting off the uh, obvious route Op 4 would take into this AO and actually segmenting a lot of troops to guard that vector. Uh, I'll be curious to see if Op 4 tries another bait and switch like they did last week to potentially fool Blue 4 on their route because in my opinion on uh, round one of last week that is what won it for op four by making everyone on that vanguard position look the wrong way which let the main force then go up the way that the vanguard position had a perfect point for so we'll have to I see what op four decides to do go ahead warwick i think that what's going to ha end up happening is the uh group that is stationed at sector two is for the large part going to be uh just completely out of the fight or stationary for the large part so that way if they do end up pulling uh just a switch uh switch on them and they manage to steam through that first objective they're going to get bogged a little bit by the second objective which will give blue four enough time to wheel their reinforcements around and come in and hit them from one of their flanks hmm by the way, Very Blake positive. has uh, set up in Sector 2 over the obvious Overwatch vectors, so we'll see what the uh, Javelin gets to do. And has anyone seen the Stinger get deployed? I haven't seen that yet. I have not either. Um, uh, I kind of wonder if there's an issue with it. I doubt. I doubt it. But um, yeah, cargo trade is still there um, in between uh, Sector 1 and Sector 2 to the west of them. Uh, but... Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing it either. Um, and Red Four doesn't appear to be ready. Um, they were not ready at mission or at safe start end. Um, we see Boston and one other getting into a gas tiger and having. I don't. I don't right think there. there's a time limit for this one though. So they can uh, take all the time they want. I think that we do. I think. Uh... By default, the mission templates are a hour long. Gotcha. Yeah, so most of them are loading them up to the BTR, but even with the infantry protection seats on top, uh, they're not going to have enough seats with just that and the Tigger. Looks like they're starting to load up into the MI-24 now. Which, so, uh, that MI-24 does contain their marksman. I don't know where their Titan guy went, though. Do you have any eyes on where he went? No, let me see if I can find them. I always get a little sketched out whenever I see a uh, fully loaded helicopter of any kind. It just gives bad flashbacks because more often times than not, that ends up being a uh, detriment than a bonus. Yeah. In uh, FNF. We already have one gas going down the MSR. The yeah, MH24 has let off flares now. Oh, he's just showing off. By the way, um, my chat is asking, uh, what level of medical does FNF do? I believe it's, uh, full advanced, right? It's modified advanced. Modified advanced. How so? Uh, they've adjusted, uh, they've adjusted armor values for a lot of the stuff, uh, with the Russian body armors and such to make it on equal footing. Um, you won't have to do all the different bandage types. Uh, a basic bandage will fix anything from a tear to a crush to a gunshot wound. Um, there's a little bit of give and play and modifications within the statistics itself, uh, such as you're more in FNF, you're more likely to go up or get revived on your own without medical attention than you are with standard advanced medical. That's nice to hear. So it's more uh, PvP entwined. <laughs> 
Yeah, and it's it's really easy to see why they do that because nobody wants to get shot uh, by a stray round or enfilade fire and uh, spend the next 20 minutes in the dirt. Mm -hmm. By the way, I'm watching Master Sergeant Cosmonaut. He just ran a little out of his position to put a demo charge assembly on the side of a building, possibly thinking Op 4 will come up this forested vector. It's a very smart call in my opinion. I just hope he stays alive long enough to possibly use it. The Samurai 24 is uh, pushing up ahead of the op versus the Op 4. It looks like it might be landing and letting off its uh, load uh, somewhere southeast of the Blue Fork. But sorry, Warwick, I cut you off. Oh, no, no, it's perfectly all right. Uh, I think in the 200V, uh, Cosmonaut is one of the more cautious types. Uh, I think... So I can't speak for what he's done, but uh, I, within the unit, he's one of the more likely people to put it on a timer rather than uh, leave it up to chance to see if he stays alive. The theory behind that being if somebody's there, it'll get them, but if they're not there, it's creating noise and creating distraction and pulling attention off of assault. Mm -hmm. Because with PvP, you can't just ignore things. Mm -hmm. So my 24 uh, I... deployed yeah. a few guys. It's now south of the zone. I don't understand why they didn't just take a gas up the MSR for yeah, that it's LZ. Still a solid click and click, click and a half away from any sort of uh, defensive positions. Um, maybe they're a late reactionary force or something, but we're seeing that BTR now being the vanguard force pushing up uh, in that uh, field that I talked about. Pushing up to that kind of uh, high ground. And yeah, it looks like they're dismounting their troops here and they're going to be uh, possibly pushing up that uh, ASR east of Sector 1. Because uh, yeah, they, they have to go for Sector 1. They don't have the option mm -hmm. of going to Sector 2 or 3. I will say my man Logan is with that uh, crew that dismounted. Logan last week did pull a lot of crazy silly plays in stealing Vix. So I'll be curious to see what he plays today. Meanwhile, BTR-80 has deployed its troops. It looks like they might try to go for the little snippet of forest instead of that massive uh, one to the top. And that's going to be smart because Blue 4 has fortified the absolute hell out of that. Uh, where they go from here and what maneuvers they do will also be interesting. But it looks like the... BTR-80 is going for that overwatch position. That's going to be very dangerous because they do not know where that javelin guy is. And he's got perfect oh, eyes. He's already javelin spotting it out. The BTR. Yeah. He spotted the BTR. He absolutely sees that. He's got to be really careful about firing that in a building, though, because the rocket could easily go up and hit the top of the window and kill him and Martin. But I think he's noticing that and he's leaving now to possibly try to line a shot up. And now he's trying to reacquire the target, and I think he's he might have lost it. Uh, he if he's got thermal cam on it, he could possibly see it. The BTR-80 is going to pull up, giving him a perfect line. But right now he's watching the infantry. He might be holding his fire and looking elsewhere for it. He now. does have a little um, spruce he tree. Yep. Okay. He sees it now. If, if I was him, uh, I would take the shot it. and knock that thing out immediately. But Absolutely. he's gonna hold. Uh, there's the no, rock. There it no, is. He's not. He's and that BTR is toast. And uh, that's that. Sorry, that takes a hit. She's second. cooking off. The crew's gonna have to quickly get out. Uh, there it is. Yep. One, uh, I've not two, seen and... any. Maybe Arcor is hit with that. I. He's um. There he goes. But yeah, that thing's cooking off. That was a beautiful hit. Not really smart away, by Op Four. No, that's what we were expecting last week, and that mm -hmm. just didn't happen, but uh, Blake was able to make it happen this week. Well, the uh, reason it didn't why? happen with last week was because they pulled a feint and were able to pull away the javelin to look somewhere where it wasn't, uh, but there wasn't really any good terrain for that because uh, with that uh, map, uh, it was just a lot of rolling hills, but here it's just a massive open field and kill zone, and now you're starting to hear fire get exchanged, but... That's uh, Blake just suppressing the infantry down there, but yeah, with the loss Blake of the 80 Alpha, up, yeah. that's a massive force multiplier that has been taken away. So now Op4 only has the Mi-24, which they are staging 
to the southwest of the AO. A very crafty spot. I don't think any blue four are going to predict that. So it'll at least be able to get one run in before the stainer comes out, even though I have no idea who has it. Yeah, I'm looking around now, trying to see if someone has it on their back. Quigley is in still uh, in that two-story by Lance Corporal Montgomery and those two 50 cals. Uh, watching that approach vector that Op4 will probably be going on. But yeah, let's see if we can find the Stinger, because I have not seen it yet, and that MI-24 is very much in play. It does not have any pylons, it just has that nose turret. So it's a little uh, neutered like as far as its full potential. Your mic cut out, Barb. It, it, the MI-24 does still have a lot of firepower just with that nose cannon. There's the MI-24 doing a gun run. It is. it is up high. Wow, that is very far off. The, the MI-24 is mainly a gunship, though. Uh, it firing from that far. I just heard uh, some sort of missile launch. Uh, I'm watching the ja uh, the 24 right now. I don't think it was towards it, but something definitely did get launched. I'm curious. You keep watching that 24. I'm going to see if I can find that stinger all right i'll keep um looking up at it occasionally uh looks like the javelin landed at the d marker at koak uh might have uh knocked yep i'm seeing some guys bleeding nearby uh pearson Idean. uh so i think that was just used against infantry right there but they need to save it uh that 24 has to have a render distance turned up in order to see there, but that um, chin turret, the uh, accuracy of it from this range is going to be very, very reduced. And the more time they spend on it, the more Blue 4 is going to start adjusting to try to take it down. Also, another thing I noticed with Blue 4 is that entire northern front they had in the forest, they've actually had the right flank now adjust to look at uh, Op 4. Um, come down you're also hearing uh, one of those 50 cows firing off off of uh, Wheaton firing at the three guys in the forest and I don't think there's any casualties yet here they're just uh, trading rounds hold up nope Casey and Norris got hit Casey goes down by that uh, by suppression fire and Op4 is not in a good spot here because they have all their eggs in one basket but that um, southern team we have Stray Dog going alone because he's the marksman, and then the four guys from the vehicle are also coming from the south. That could be... Give me your milk on Op4 also goes down. Wakes back up quick, but he's part of that one uh, the forward most element. They're getting hit by some GP25, mm -hmm. or sorry, M203s rather. And uh, you know, nearest... Arma does have tripwire mines, but I don't think there's I any mean, here. Blue 4 has a very solid wall of fire that's coming down on anything that they see. Um, with these traces, we can see them just absolutely hammering this position. Red 4 is popping smokes to try and uh maneuver through this fire but that's just i it's probably just drawing the blue force fire even more by the way the 24 just relocated to the north it looks like it's going northeast now testing the waters trying to see if blue four can spot them i'm not seeing anyone look up against it but that northern group hold up i've got eyes on the stainer it is given to t4 erb he's with nielsen and uh, they're going to try to run that stainer under him, but actually, no, it doesn't look like they know exactly where that 24 is, but he would have a perfect shot if he could just look to his left. Now that the 24 is firing again, he should be... It, it, he can use his primary basic echolocation using his fucking ears to look up and see that MI-24. It is right smack dab in the middle of the sky. We have someone who's just throwing pot shots at it. Looks like that's Kernshaw and Carlson who are right next to uh, Herb, but he's still... He's looking at infantry right now. The 24 oh, yeah. appears to be targeting T5 Bay, JS Lol, and uh, Skulland on the right flank of the forest. Oh, and here we go. Oh. Herb's now looking in the right ish. Nope, never nope, mind. he turned around. Uh, he might not have a proper. Nope, oh. he's, he's trying, he's but the 24 is moving. moving. Yeah, now we got some trees in the way, but he's been pointed in the right direction. If oh, he were to just. Be He's got a clearing on his right. If he were to just be patient and make sure he doesn't lose the lock. And should fire any second now. There it goes. There it goes. 
And that is a hit. Tail Rotor's probably going to be out after that. Yep, Tail Rotor is out. And possibly the main rotor, too. I think they're about to hit the engine. It looks... They've I, I think the... For a crash land. Possibly. Um, I don't think the main engine or the main rotor are down. Usually a tail hit uh, just takes out the tail rotor and does damage to the engine. I think they have the gear out in case there's a second shot. That forces them to land. Yeah, the, their main rotor is stalling out. I can, if you can see it slowing yeah. down, but the tail rotor is out completely. No yeah, I think the engine might be hit. Randomly. Those guys firing randomly. He's trying. He might get this, but he's starting to spin. His rounds did hit. Um, uh, Private uh, First Class Montgomery, he is bandaging. They're getting the uh, stainer out, but... At this point, they don't need a stainer because the stainer's not going to lock on if it's on the ground. If they were to stay on that turret, but it's... Oh, it's turned in the worst possible angle. If they turned it around, they could use it against the infantry that are coming up to finish them off. I don't know if they have that luxury, but Victor and Patriot both get out of there. A bit of a hard landing. So, yeah, I don't know if they'd be able to even spool it back up with how hard they landed it. Mm -hmm. with, yeah, with, the, uh, with how hard they landed it and with the damage to the tail rotor, I... I think that's going to be its permanent position on the map yeah. from now on. And we're seeing a kill squad of uh, six, seven people uh, from Alpha 1, and they're starting to lob shots over to the MI24 now. Patriot and Victor. Oh. Well, Patriot had the right idea by getting the nose turret, but it's, yeah. uh, it's facing East they're trying East. to scare him, but they know that it's not going to face their way. No. And then you have um, Private First Class Eagle here. He does have an AT4, and he could get the kill shot on that MI-24. It looks like he's scoping out the infantry that just dismounted, though. Meanwhile, looking at a few other things, we got uh, Op 4 with a lot of white smoke deployed. They have taken multiple casualties from suppressing fire from Blue Force machine gun teams, Ooh. as well as their 50 cals. And we do have the Op 4 team deploying to take Sector 3. Patriot has gone down and Victor has died. There goes the MI-24 and the crew has been uh, killed. So that's both of the force multipliers for Op 4 down and out before they have any real effect on the mission. Now it's just an infantry on infantry fight, but you do have those static 50s that have been dishing out a lot of punishment. I see Wheaton off of his 50. It might be out of ammo. I'm not seeing any in the left box, so... Uh, Numbers-wise, Op 4 still has the advantage. Op 4 also taking Sector 3. They're not going to be able to take that till 1 and 2 are captured, but I can see the strategy yeah. there. In case Blue 4 tries to push back, they're going to basically have to fight off Sector 3, but if Op 4 can take Sector 2, they'll insta-take Sector 3. So it's a good call. Yeah, now you have Alpha 1. Yeah, the Alpha 1's coming back in. And if they look to their east, or if they start moving to their east, they come into Indigo Fox, Fox, and Arcor. And Fox looks to be firing at those uh, people coming back from uh, the MI-24, which I don't think is the right move, because that is way more... <laughs> if he's able to draw their attention, he'd be biting up way more than they can true as that little three-man vanguard. And Indigo's going lone wolf. He's now Quick interruption. Patriot away. wasn't dead. He was only down, and they left him for dead. So he could potentially get behind Blue Four's lines and do a bit of damage. We've seen yeah, single players do a lot of crazy shit on their own. So I'm actually going to be curious to see what he does. Yeah, that's going to be very interesting to follow. Because even if he's not able to do a lot of damage directly, like we saw with that two hour long mission uh, last week, mm -hmm. just the fact of having someone in yes, a place where no PvP. one expects can lead to a lot of chaos and confusion. Indigo so opening having... fire on somebody. Yeah. Don't know why he did that. He doesn't want to give away his position just yet, but I could definitely see a few Op 4 guys in the right spot. Ooh, While that main got... firefight goes on, he could definitely do a lot of damage. Meanwhile, the rear group of uh, Sector 3 is now coming in. They could potentially ambush Platoon at Sector 2. Yeah. pulls one of the 50s back online and quickly jumps off of it. Yeah, this is a little vanguard flanking force, whatever you want to call it, of Indigo, Arcor, and Fox. They're, I mean, they have at least 10 blue four to their south or southwest, and they need to play this very smart because Indigo even has if to one be... of them. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry, sorry. Flanks, even if one of those blue four flanks around their position and they have the numbers to move fairly freely, um, I mean, they have six right in front of them. It's a two to one fight directly. 
and um T5 yeah, Bay it, it, coming close to Indigo. Uh, let's see. T4 ERB is watching that sector, though. So Indigo has to be really careful. I will say Blue Force Security, despite the main fight being towards the east, uh, they've done a really good job constantly checking their north. So I'm going to be curious. Now Arcor and Farks are coming up to support Indigo. This could be a pretty nasty fight. Holy Ooh. crap. Indigo just decked somebody. That was Bay. Yep, so there goes T5. He's now being suppressed, but backup's gonna come. Arcor nope. and Ar Farks just went down. Arcor is under heavy fire from what sounds like an auto rifleman. Like an F yeah, he's got a 249 suppressed him. He goes dead. Farks could wake back up. But crazy enough, those two guys going down actually brought uh, Indigo some more time here to get some flank shots. He kills somebody oh. else, but goes down. Two, you gotta consider, two, though. The ratio of trading, if Op4 can trade one to one with Blue4, since Op4 has the numbers advantage, they could eventually win it. So even though he only got a few guys, it's still a good call there because you can see the main force is still up in those hills. Yeah, but the problem with this is, oh yeah, exactly how you said. Op4 is still, like, they still have a clearing that they got to get through or around to get even closer sector one. The nearest group is a good 400 uh, meters away and they just have a lot of ground to cover if they want to get even close to the thing. Patriot coming in from the north as well. However, Jaeger and Kern in his way because I think they're looking for uh, op for snipers or whatnot because I've seen a lot of outflanking here. They do have the right call and unfortunately, I think Patriot's going to get hunted down by these two guys. Indigo yeah, also, right Indigo's still alive. He's uh, crawled behind a tree. He's going to bandage and he might be able to sneak up and get another kill or two, which, you know, there's only three blue four, four blue four guys left on that flank. Some are pulling back, though. It's fairly interesting to see how that's all going. Stray Jog, meanwhile, has crawled up behind the line. He does have that marksman rifle. Uh, he could look um, to get in a few licks. Looks like Blue Force called in um, a call to regroup because we see Montgomery's squad, which includes Kernshaw, Jaeger, Carlson, Erb, all these uh, uh, kind of outward Blue Force units. They're going back south southwest, uh, possibly to Sector Three. Uh, but we're seeing that Op Forge group that was at Sector Three. They're not moving I'm to Sector for charges. Two. Stray Dog is in the front of that pack, and he is might be, excuse me. They might be hunting down um, Blake and Wiki. So I just did a quick eye over on Sector 3, thinking that Op4 might have put a charge or two down, but I'm not seeing anything. Patriots uh, taking contact from, I believe that was That's Kernshaw. That's unfortunate. Actually, that was Jaeger, but Jaeger, Kernshaw, and the rest of his squad, are they've now consolidated, and they're well within the engagement distance. Patriots Titan AT right just, sorry to cut right you off, Barb. Titan AT just went out hitting Olaf directly, taking out the M2 static. Olaf is going to be able to bandage that back up. Keep going. Well, that was about it. Uh, Patriots kind of turning, turning tail, but he's got uh, up to six blue for now looking in his direction, including two auto riflemen. Um, Indigo looks to be up and moving again southwards and so if the two of them can link up that might be big but we're seeing now rust uh is on that third 50 uh to indigo south and having some decent enfilade fire going on those suppressed op four guys who are just i mean I, i'm seeing four op four medics running around banding to them and trying to get everyone back up into a fighting uh, condition but it is just you very a gun. Uh, tough situation for Opera right now. And for if you're pot making again. Oh, I'm sorry. So a few quick things. One, Indigo is up to a blue four body. He could potentially steal a gun and try to mask his um, weapon audio ID uh, to fool blue four. That worked really well uh, last week. Also, I saw blue four return in kind. An HEDP rocket went right up to War Dog, who's on his own on the southeastern flank probably like five meters short but he seemed okay and then i also watched uh who is this i think it was pierce uh exchanging auto rifleman fire with blue four and pierce got mowed down also nearest getting blown up by that charge we saw that demo specialist put over uh put over there at the beginning of the round but nearest looks okay instead uh i'm not seeing any bleeding damage so Good opportunity there, but unfortunately was wasted. Even so, it would have just been one guy, so good call. Yeah, 
Patriots now moved up. He's by, uh, uh, bushwookying and just hauling out positions, uh, if I had to guess. Uh, Indigo looks like he didn't. He kept his AK-74, but he might have picked up some nades or something and just got a basic resupply on, on medical, especially since he went down and had to bandage uh, back up quite a considerable amount. Um, we're seeing that Red 4 unit to the south near the Uski marker. They're still kind of stagnant. I don't think they've made their presence known yet, which is a good thing. Um, the main op for force. I mean, they real have no quick, vehicles. real quick, Barb. Look at Patriot and okay. Kernshaw right now. Patriot's trying to line up a shot on him, but Kern has no idea he's over there. So that could be a pretty nasty headshot kill right off the bat. Jaeger's still looking on the northern flank, but Patriot's not close enough to be detected. I yeah, I let let Warwick speak. He hasn't spoken in a while. Well, I was just gonna say, I think right now what we uh, we can see with the op four. Um, where they're static right now and uh, just looking at how close up their group uh they're all kind of huddled around carpenter who i do believe is i think he is the next highest in command he is uh I believe one of the squad leaders here um and i think what's going on is they're recollecting just to try and figure out what the next plan of attack is because obviously this range battle is not going to work trying to go head to head against that defensive wall right there is uh, paramount to suicide now if they if they can somehow get in contact with patriot and indigo fox that flank over there is largely safe if they could leave behind one of the uh if they could leave behind this delta element here to put out suppressive fire they could pretty much move this entire uh attacking element on this flank here and i think that's what they're doing here as they yeah they're, they're sending out a force out. We gotta watch Patriot though. He just ran right in to where oh Blue Four is. No one spotted him. He might be able to run up to Kern and freaking mag dump him. Yeah, his targets of uh, of importance would be Kernshaw, and uh, there was another auto rifleman, uh, JS Law, but he's far up to the east, so it's gonna be Kernshaw. Uh, if he can take him out, and he looks like he's on the hunt. Rust for him. is in his inventory. He would have spotted Patriot if he wasn't in there. No one's looking up at him. This oh, is Patriot this is ridiculous. Kernshaw. And there goes Kernshaw, Kernshaw goes down. A dozen now they're all running. And, and, yep. And oh, and that's that's kicked the hornet's nest. But a good effort. Uh, Honestly, by children. taking out that auto rifleman though, he's definitely negated their force multiply. Patriot now coming up close to Jaeger. Who's gonna turn around first? Might be Jaeger. Jaeger's gonna get the turnaround. But not before Jaeger's Carlson gets knocked out. Uh, Showland off to the east by 100 meters actually spotted out Patriot in his position and was able to force Patriot to move, which caused him to get behind Jaeger. He's not waking up after that. It. And yeah, Patriot gets shot in the back by Jaeger, and uh, I mean, Kernshaw did some damage. Uh, if they're not able to find Kernshaw's body and uh, reacquire that uh, 240. By the way, Stray Drog right, right next to three dudes with oh, the Javelin yeah. Gunner. Oh my god. Yes. They're just hiding here, and they are completely unaware. Wiki, Blake, and uh, Martin. Martin, of all people. I mean... He, he has access to the Javelin stuff. guy, though. Like, he's going to oh, let he's... them get some distance and then just pop them in the back of the head. That's beautiful. Op 4, uh, their main force is now suppressing the Blue Force main force. And there's just the so much action going on right now. The only problem with Stray Dog's position is he's in a pretty deep hole. Uh, there's a lot of grass around him. I'm not sure if he spotted Blake or Wiki. They are popping I... smoke grenades, though, to conceal. Oh, uh, but yeah, Stray is on the hunt now. He's looking for Martin. And uh, we'll see if... I mean, but that grass... It's because Pads, his... Um... No, 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 it wasn't him. But there were some shots clicking off. I think that might have just been Stray Fire from the main battle. So... Op 4, they've got five dudes to three. They could easily cut those guys off and take them out. Also, it looks like Carlson was able to be medic back up, so Patriot only getting that one kill, but for a downed pilot to make it that far, that was pretty good, and we still have Indigo Fox on the side here. Not sure Absolutely. what he's going to attempt. Uh, there uh, was a blue up. four... Um, there's also a blue four guy, Corey, over here on his own. Be curious what he'll do. But anyway, go ahead, uh, Barb. Uh, Stray Dog let Martin and his uh, trio of, of Merry Musketeers get away. Um, I don't know if that was intentional or not, but they've now uh, gotten to a building north of Sector 3, or a few buildings north of Sector 3, and just they're just kind of holding out. Um, 
I wouldn't be surprised if he was able to relay that information to Tomato, Night Owl, and the rest of his uh, the people that he was with down to the south. But we have Drake off to his northeast, and if Drake is able to um, make some noise that would attack Stray Dog, that would he could cut off uh, the command chain right there. Although I say that, uh, Stray Dog sees Martin, takes a shot. Takes at a shot, misses. Also, those Op4 guys are doing a uh, a horseshoe. They're going to do a wide U and come up from their left and try to get right behind them. Uh, as Stray Dog more than likely is going to try to cut guys off. What he doesn't know is that Blake has... He's got a marksman rifle with an MOS sight on the top. So that's his worst nightmare as a counter sniper. But he's really oh. utilizing this tree here. Don't want to cut you off, but a little small Go ahead. battle is about to happen between Give Me Your Milk and Corey, and... Corey wins it. Yeah. <laughs> give Me Your Milk just walked right on top of him Ooh. for a moment there. Both yep. were completely Corey, close. Give Me Your Milk. And that gives Corey access to the RPG. I don't think there are any uh, HE rockets with the current... Um, more uh, for uh light at kit but still but that that group of guys right next to Corey, i mean that that, is, that could be very dangerous RPG. he's gonna yep there he goes taking it i would do the same thing because if nothing else you launch it at an infantryman it's gonna kill him if it hits but op4 is doing a really smart play they've uh split off uh their force into half and half one half going around the right flank of that major defense line the other half still suppressing that defense line to make blue four think that they are still going to stay there and suppress and you got uh op4 now coming in but Corey crossing on the right is gonna walk right in front of op4 Carpenter gets eyes on. He stops, confirms the PID, starts mag dumping, and Corey never had a fucking chance. That's gotta no, suck. No, not with that number of op four coming out of his position. And that right there is a really good example of how the fog of war can really fuck you if you do not keep your situational awareness. Meanwhile, that shoehorn I talked about earlier on the south, two guys have broken around, two more staying on the back. They're definitely dividing around to try to engage this position. Also, Stray Dog has been shots multiple I'm times pretty, from the blood i'm pretty sure that pfc eagle and t4 herb are firing at blake wiki and martin um because there are up for around their position but the position that they're aiming at specifically is where friendlies are relative to them amazing the blue four main line now getting hit from its direct front and its flank at the same time going to attempt to how far is going to try and roll this main defensive line now? Oh, but Bridges with that auto rifle, he's lighting up the uh, force to the northwest of his position. Point, uh, our good boy Nemesis of Scandi Recon, um, and a couple others, um, they're going to they're be suppressed by this machine gun, and Hoyt um, makes a fatal mistake, and I say fatal because he's fucking dead, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sometimes bravery is... The same thing is stupid. Hold up, look at that. Look at Nearsk running up the freaking SSR right here. No one's covering that side because everyone's looking out to the north where that other flank is coming from. Meanwhile, you got other blue four forces pulling back. I think they're going to give up that sector. And you've also got the left flank also moving to that sector. I mean, in, in <laughs> even if they do let it go, um, I believe I'd have to do a head count, but I believe blue four has the man advantage. Although Nearsk, he's... Uh, He's opening up now on that uh, HMG position that they were holding, but a little, uh, uh, kind of a too little, too late situation. The GP25 isn't going to be able to do much among the scattered infantry that are still around it. Uh, if he was there a minute before, he might have been able to catch up Bridges Ooh. or Mannerheim or Cosmonaut. But uh, right now, everyone is leaving, and uh, I don't think he even got anyone with that GP. So by the way, Warwick, uh, technical question for you. Is it 15 minutes of prep and then an hour, or is the 15 minutes of prep included in that hour for the mission? Uh, safe start is not included in mission time. All right, so there's about whatever 15 plus 13 is left on uh, the mission clock here. So a little under half an hour, but with how long this battle has been going, it might just go out that way. Meanwhile, I see Dariq going down to a machine gun, still possibly... Uh, has the possibility to wake up. Anderson's to his left, and Blue Four is just trying to do a slow pullback of the area. I'm surprised yeah, they. Wakes... Sorry, go ahead. Uh, Drake wakes back up, but he instead of rolling in the cover, he pops smoke and oh, and he gets shot again. Um, not the best move as a command element. Um, 
Well, Anderson, I think, is a squad lead as well, but yeah, go ahead, Warwick. That's one of the things about uh, his unit. Uh, the second MRB, they're, they're very flexible with Man, their with command no thanks elements. to a Twitch Prime you, sub. You have, hope to keep enjoying uh, the ops and hope you get a kick out of this. Various number of people from Dreek to Anderson to uh, Master Sergeant Car Cosmonaut, who also now has gone down to Staff Sergeant Montgomery, to Staff Sergeant Bridges, who are all Cosmonaut really down able to right fit into that role of uh, taking up squad lead or team lead positions. They're very flexible about that. Basically, they're really good at stepping up when someone goes down and taking the rain. That shows that they've got a good command structure and they've got good communication so people can instantaneously take those roles. That's excellent. God, imagine having a community with that, right, Luger? <laughs> I can dream, damn it. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're seeing Norse on his own on that left flank again. He's a medic of all things. And Op4 is recamping Sector 3, and they got two guys watching uh, just a random SSR. Not sure what they're planning for that. Maybe they'll try to catch Blue 4 to pull back and try to gun a few down to wrap it up. Yeah, Logan and Night Owl, they're kind of pushing forward into this uh, little town up here. Clearing some buildings very slowly, holding fire. Not really doing too much to uh, let their position be known. Blake, who has the marksman rifle, by the way, he's got a really good angle on the left flank here, and he might be able to catch Norse out of position and get a few shots on the guys uh, like Nemesis and Carpenter, uh, who are still getting suppressed by, it looks like, 249 fire. Yeah, clearly was the marksman, but I'm, I guess he died, and uh, there goes the, the uh, notification. Attack just have captured Sector 1, so now they are to move on to Sector 2 and finally to Sector 3. And that might have been the, the cue for that uh, backstabbing element to go ahead. We're seeing pads and Spanish tomato. Um, they're starting to move in a bit faster now as Night Owl and Logan hold their position. And because um, the Logan and Night Owl, all they have to do here is hold. Um, I think Spanish and Tomato are going to try to take out their marksmen. Uh, they're being very aggressive now. These guys have no idea that they're up there. Uh, well, we'll just have to see where they decide to make their move. They yeah, did just spot Martin there. Martin. Yeah, Martin got spotted, but they either they didn't feel they, they didn't get a good position to fire or they missed their mark. Whatever the case is, it's pretty good. However, Blake is still firing off. So we'll see what uh, Spanish and Pads do here. Because uh, if they're able to sandwich them in and leave Logan and Night Owl completely uh, secure, all they had to do is capture sector, capture sector two, and they will win. By the uh, way, Norse um, and Quickie are going off. Go ahead. Just to quickly uh, interject here, Norse did take a few pot shots at this group in the barn where Nirson and Jaeger are. Jaeger then looked out the little slit window on the left, but was unable to spot him. Continue. Hmm. Well, uh, yeah, we have the two guards for Blake, uh, Wiki and Martin. Um, they're going off back to the east as Norris is opening up fire again. Uh, as just a lone gunman, his position is pretty advantageous. He's drawing, uh, sorry, he's drawing attention away from the main force. And like I said earlier, you can't just let, uh, you, can't, you can't ignore things. Although Norris is, uh, he's dumping uh, rounds into, uh, who was it earlier? Um, Kern's body. Uh, <laughs> Poor he, he, Kern. Uh, yeah, been dead for about five minutes. The body's already cold, but uh, he's still dumping rounds into it because he's scared, I guess. So by the way, I just did a head count for players that are still alive right now. Blue 4 has 19 and Op 4 has 16. Uh, yeah, I say that, and we just watched Nemesis get gunned the fuck down by Montgomery, so that is now 15 on Op4. Op4 has definitely been losing some paint on that last assault in this. Other guy that went down. They have consolidated up well, and they have managed to take that first objective here, but Blue Force... Oh. Spanish Tomato about to flank yeah. Blake in the rear. Sorry he, to cut you off, Warwick. Yeah, keep going, Warwick. Keep going. Oh, no, no. That was pretty much the end of that. But Spanish Tomato now, he's holding his fire, looking at Blake. Uh, Pads is probably going to be moving up uh, past him, if I had to guess. But yeah, Tomato now has the perfect chance to kill this marksman. Although Blake no longer has that javelin. I don't know if he ran out of ammo, but... Blake gave it to Wix. Uh, W-I, or Wiki, Wiki, excuse me. Wiki is over at Sector 2 right now with that javelin. But uh, um... either way, it's pretty... Uh, it's... 
most of it is uh, i'm gonna say it's useless except for killing one or two infantrymen more so a more shock value group. yeah possibly a shock value but there's not much use for that javelin now so i'm not totally surprised that he gave it away well he's the marksman so he probably gave it away for um less weight but spanish tomato pads being very cautious here trying to make sure that blake is indeed alone but blake has no idea that these two guys are over here um, um I don't, i'm gonna sound like a dick saying this but quigley was the marksman but he died so blake picked it up and then ah. yeah, gave it away so that's why he had both the uh, rifle and the javelin. Although that, the there goes better. Blake, because a, gren a stray grenadier round uh, went by Aww. Spanish tomato and pads. I don't know if that's friendly or enemy, but it um, hit the building where those two Op4 guys are on and uh, caused them to quickly just open fire. Uh, yeah, I do Blake see some, yeah, yeah some, yeah. He turned around in panic. I don't think he saw Op for, or maybe just saw them just before he was shot. But now Spanish Tomato is bandaging pads. I think is also going into the barn to bandage as well. And we have Carlson pulling back, probably hearing that AK fire, and now he's scoping it out. Uh, he's looking right up at possibly Spanish Tomato, but uh, he'll be able to feed that intel to his guys and say, hey, Op Four is by Sector 3, so they might be forced to just hold Sector 2. But they do have the numbers advantage, but they don't know that yet. I'm pretty sure Carlson did spot him out. From the position he was at, he could have seen Tomato's location. So it's um, it's Carlson one like, round per map, like and safe, then um, it's like three different matches. Uh, and this is still round one. It, it's, it's a sticky situation. Logan and Night Owl have gotten away from Sector 3 now, but um, we're seeing Boston and Coaz, two command elements, um, going up. But yeah, I, I say that, but there's not many other options. They have a total of eight guys over here on the east versus at least, I, if I had to guess, probably 15 blue four. Because of how spread out Op 4 is, they played the long game, but they they weren't able to plan properly for the short game with losing that BTR-80 and the MI-24 so quickly. Yeah. And, uh, and Carlson does spot out. I think that was Tomato that he spotted out, and that's a couple rounds loose. So he's definitely spotted them, and he now uh, he's going to be calling that out that Sector 3 is Fubar. So it's Sector 2 or die. You know, I'm going to quickly scan the... Sorry, go ahead, Warwick. No, I was just going to say that Sector 2 isn't looking much better right now because any route of approach, you've got two, you've got two auto riflemen watching one direction, you've got another watching another direction. This is where Op4 lost both, their advantage. Both are open fields with very scarce cover here. I think the only cover that's really accessible, Koak and Boston are currently sitting on it, and they're still taking heavy fire. Now, I was really curious to see why Op4 is actually down in the numbers game here, because they've been making the really risky plays out of him paying off, you know, having one or two guys sneak in the line, get two or three kills before they go down. And I think I found our answer. If you look at the barn that they were all regrouping at, uh, 025135, uh, you can see four dead Op4 bodies right there, and I genuinely think they just lost too many people while suppressing that front line, uh, especially to the 50 cals. So, really nice to oh, see that yeah. the 50 cals were that effective in this game, and now just Blue 4 has to hunker down, wait it out, and they could possibly steal this out of Op4's nose. Yeah, and looking at those bodies, I'm seeing uh, one Pachenek, a PKP, I'm not seeing a couple of the weapons on the other bodies, uh, an AK, a couple of AKs, but yeah, like even just taking out one PKP is a huge reduction in firepower for off four. Also, uh, we just had a burst of auto rifle fire come from, I believe, Spanish Tomato, or no, it was Pads with the auto rifle. He tried to kill uh, Dreek, but Dreek only took one shot and was able to quickly get down. So now Blue 4 especially knows that they've got Op 4 on their rear. And we do have Carlson now coming up. He did a wide right flank, and I think he's trying to line up some shots on whoever might come out. But now Pads firing out again. Uh, he hasn't really fired too much this op, so he's got a lot of spare ammo, and he's just trying to uh, spook Blue 4. Even by turning some of those Blue 4 guns around, that might let Boston and Koak get close enough to do some significant damage. But Op 4 seems very scattered right oh, now in no. their line compared to Blue 4. Why are you saying no now? Well, Carson just lit up Spanish Tomato, and he, sh he sees Logan now, but he doesn't. He didn't see Tomato. Sorry, 
Carlson didn't see Night Owl, Night Owl go off on his right flank, and now Night Owl uh, is going to come around this building, and he's going to get the back of Carlson. I don't think he's going to come in in time. Maybe, maybe not, but it's... Uh, he's now going through the barn. The thing is, though, Carson does not know that Night Owl is there, and Night Owl knows that someone is somewhere, um, which... In, in, in. Oh, Logan tried to get a Grenadier round on Carlson, but for whatever reason, the minimum debt. No, he fired a flare round at him. You see the two flares cooking? Oh, come on. <laughs> and um, Carlson goes down, but I think he killed somebody. Uh, uh yeah, he Spanish took out, tomato. um, yeah, he's Spanish he tomato. A, a good trade. And Carlson, oh, there he goes. I, I mean, blue. The, uh, go ahead, go ahead. Wounds. I think the flare round going out was more of a I forgot to hit F scenario and back <laughs> to my rifle. <laughs> but, I mean, blue four, they don't, I don't think they realize it, but as long as they make one to one trades, they'll be a okay here because they have the numbers advantage now. I mean, there's literally four up four to their north and three up four to their west versus, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, yeah, something like sixteen blue four. I'm By the way, Boston, their uh, up four platoon lead just got blown up. Uh, I'm staring at his body with the LR. That is unfortunate. So now, uh, up four does not have a chain of command right now, unless someone steps oh. up. Yeah, I, right now, I feel like even with the chain of command, they're fairly stagnant, or, or, Splintered is, I think, is a better way to put that. There, with the two different elements on opposite sides of the Blue Force stronghold, and the fact that um, I saw a similar situation a few weeks ago, a ridiculous where flank there. because Op Four tried to be smart and sneaky and got around the back of uh, the defending team, uh, the defending team were able to turtle up much more effectively and defend a singular objective, and that's what this I think is going on now. We have a number of blue four watching the west now uh, on the south side of sector two a good half dozen of them have their rifles pointing west um and then the rest are looking either north or northeast and it's i mean <laughs> i feel like there should be a surrender option for red four at this point That's by the way uh fun. 15 minute warning that there it is right there 15 minutes remaining yeah it's it's gonna be either timeout or die out i guess for red four op fours I, I, yeah they, they're just way too sporadic right now they're completely scattered and now you even have blue four guys running out to go do cleanup and they could potentially get the fights here just you know small 1v1 firefights i could see it yeah staffenberger goes uh i think staffenberger has been down for a while but we have nielsen on blue four um hiding in a bush along that uh that road pulling northeast i mean Blue Four can send out some uh, hit squads and really get some, uh, probably be somewhat and effective. Indigo's running away to the north. Yeah. Casey's charging in south. Uh, he's going to come and uh, run into Showland uh, in just a minute or two, I think. I think one of the things Op4, uh, at least in their shoes, if I knew everything that was going on, I would definitely try to pick up a Blue 4 rifle and blend in with all the suppressive fire and just start taking out people that I could see and uh, just try to even out the number advantage. But there's just so much of a number stagnation here that I do not see Op4 pulling out with this, especially with their command severed. The units are completely scattered around, and now Blue4, I think, is realizing this and starting to push guys around to take advantage of it. Yeah, Nielsen is now joined by JS, Lowell, and Sholin. They're pushing up to the northeast. Um, we have Koas and Wardog up here in this warehouse, just kind of uh, trying to formulate some kind of plan wait for something wait for other elements to to move in but Sholin finally put strathenberg out of his misery ah. so i'm seeing indigo Finish pulling it. back he's actually looking at bodies he might be looking for a blue four rifle uh if he's yeah he's in that area he could come across uh yeah he's he's walking right up oh no he's bandaging uh are there uh warwick are there reopening wounds uh, there are not re uh, reopening wounds. However, he was taking fire from, I think. Sholin throws a nade. That's a, uh, well, it was a good nade, but it bounced a little bit too far. I did hit Koas and Wardog with a bit of shrapnel. 
and I think Koas is crippled. There goes another one. I don't know how Sholin saw that, but Sholin was able to take out or get a few shots on Wardog. Sholin is shooting through the crack in the door. That's that cheeky. Angle is dirty. That is the smallest of angles. Hey, if it Wardog works, it works. Fire, but yeah, yeah, absolutely. Wardog returns some fire, but it's just spray and pray at that point. Nielsen and yeah, JSL no, are pushing up around the uh, right side as Shillin breaks the window. I think he was going to try and throw a nade, but he, I think he might be out. Shoal goes down. We just heard a oh. rocket get fired at the building that Op4 was previously on where um, Tomato and friends were shooting. I think uh, Eagle used his AT4. Yep. So he's going to pull oh. back now. World Dog going down. Yeah, JS Law is pushing around as well as Nielsen. They're both around that eastern side of the warehouse. And oof. Oof. I think that might be the uh, nails in the coffin for Op4 here. Wardog and Koak were the uh, last real attempt at put, uh, pushing this in. Uh, you've even seen the uh, from where Pads and Spanish Tomato and uh, Night Owl were at. They've been forced to pull off that position to try and attempt to dislodge a Blue 4 here. It's, it's just throwing whatever you have at the wall and hoping that the wall gives. Yeah, and Kowas is sitting in this little foreman's hut in a low crouch position, just watching the windows, waiting for something with a, a hair trigger right now. Nielsen uh, just tried to throw a grenade in, but it bounced off. He still has that AT4, though, so he could clear with that. Paz is now in a firefight with Eagle. Uh, Eagle's in a, in a trench right now as Paz is trying to just move around and do something. Freaking Koak put his head up on the oh, wrong time just as Nielsen no. was behind him, and we just I, saw a classic I, I, Omeawa Munshinderu right there. You could I, I see heard. the Nani in Koak's <laughs> eyes. I, I, I saw the tracers coming out from the window, and I heard the gunfire in the distance, and it was just... Meanwhile, Pads pushing up on Eagle uh, towards the rear. Eagle's trying to bandage because Pads hit him earlier, and now Pads is going to get a cheap execution. There it is. Doesn't make sure he's dead, but definitely put three or four bullets in him. I don't see anyone watching. Well, hold up. We got Montgomery and Dreek looking that direction, but they're not looking their exact southwest right now. So Pads might Russ, be able to take advantage of that. Russ is RP walking building to building, friendly wiggling at the op floor in a classic uh, display of VM as PFC Montgomery and Pads get into a firefight. And Rust is actually the one who uh, finishes off Pads. I'm not surprised with that. Pads had no cover right there. He was standing up and Montgomery had a freaking building. So even though they had the machine gun for Op4, that's just how it falls, man. Yeah, we have less than 10 minutes left on the clock as uh, Night, Owl, Night Owl and Logan somehow switching positions. Night Owl is way off to the northwest and Logan is now at Sector 3. Um, as we still have about a dozen or so blue force still up. Night Owl just got dropped. What? Ta what? From wh S what? I think Martin shot him. Uh, he was. Oh, Martin stole an SVD. <laughs> Jesus. Night Owl wakes I mean... back up, but wow. That was that was a good uh. Good, good keyhole shot, right yeah. there because he was just out on that top left window was just able to get an angle when night owl came on the left side of this rock very well done now logan's gonna have to clutch if uh we've seen logan do some crazy stuff logan did take blake's uh dmr as well so the dmrs have switched <laughs> sides at this point <laughs> oh my god um yeah, right now it's absolutely a clutch or kick scenario. Logan yep. has to clutch it now or he will be permanently I, I think we there. should all get a whisper going on Logan and just start chanting clutch or kick at this point. I mean, let's see. <laughs> it's Logan. I mean, Knight is still alive, but I don't think they're coordinating here because they're not together. Also, uh, Anderson is trying to bandage Eagle up, but in terms of how many blue four are up right now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 versus 2. I, I like those odds for Logan. I think for, at this point, it's more of just a matter of pride. <laughs> for You're years. outnumbered three to one. I like, I like those, those odds. odds. <laughs> this is why I love you, Lou. <laughs> All the homo. So Dreek now running in the open. Logan doesn't spot him. Logan's, I think, scouting out buildings instead. 
Uh, he does have that blue four gun, so, you know, he might be able to blend in if he gets close enough. So let's get that clutch your kick going. Maybe. I mean, they, the problem Chat, is, is come that on, the clutch your kick. Blue guys, clutch your Drake, kick. Anderson and Russ, they're all looking west. They're expecting something to come from the west. So whether it sounds friendly or not, they're going to be investigating it and probably returning fire if they hear anything at all. Yeah, I'm fairly certain that uh, if there's any fire coming out from there, it's going to be really quickly determined to be uh, not friendly. And oh, yeah. Logan. Ooh. Logan got somebody. Who was he that? Dropped Anderson. He dropped him. Um, oh, 12 more to go. He, it was someone. I Clutch saw your blood kick. go out. Clutch um, your kick. And the problem is with the SR-25, it sounds similar to an AR because it's the same kind of uh, rifle uh, technology, I guess. I'm still way, seeing but... plenty of uh, radios on Blue 4 here. So they did. You did say Blake picked it up from their dead marksman. So I think by now these guys would know that um, their marksman is down. Uh, I think Dreek just got eyes on Logan uh, through a bush. Yeah, no, Dreek has good eyes on him. Uh, come on, Logan. Logan going for some more shots. Takes a shot at Montgomery. It makes him uh, squirm a little bit. But he's um, he's gonna hunker down on that position. But Dreek is slowly inching up. I'm rooting for Logan. Logan has stolen helicopters and my heart with last week, so I'm going to hate to see him go. But he doesn't. He just walked right into Dreek's line. Oh, Logan. If, Logan! If Dreek, just, if Dreek would just look a little bit to his right, he would have been able to see Logan right now, in between bushes, right in the, out in the open. Yep, now oh there's a God. little bit oh of grass. God. Logan actually gets Mannerheim through a tree. I saw the the tree, uh, the, the branch actually warped the bullet, but it still hit Mannerheim. And Is he dead? Him. Uh, he's down. But he's not down. Yeah, no, but... you're right. Wow. It's it's just a, a little bit uh, a little bit of a funny here. Anytime that Logan moves, Dreek also moves. Oh, that's <laughs> looks like Dreek is being subbed out for Anderson. Oh, and no. Anderson oh, no. Over. No, and... Logan. Logan. Wolverine, look out! They're about to get you! Oh, he gets suppressed oh. instead. That makes him go down. That might have actually just saved Logan for a second. He's now going to barrel roll right, uh, right and Blue Four is going to lose eyes on him. It's only prolonging the inevitable. Dreek is now pushing up on his right. Uh, he hides behind that tree, but... No, uh, Logan's, Logan's going to clutch. Come on. He's going to maneuver more to the right and then see Dreek and then shoot him point blank. Then he's going to run to the right of this crevice, gun down Rust and Anderson, and he's he's going to clutch. OK, I'm going to I'm, I'm going to disagree with you because the Russian has picked up a filthy capitalist rifle that automatically disqualifies him from uh, the Russian heaven known as Gulag 69. I don't know. I lost. I Night Owl is still there. in this fight, by the way, but he's oh, but uh, going to Logan, 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 Logan! Logan! Oh, my Logan! oh my god! 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 Logan! 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 Oh, Logan just turned around and realized he oh, fucked no, up. No, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, oh, Logan! Oh, my god. Wait, but Drake dies in a friendly fire crossover! They were so wild with their with their execution. Oh. They killed Drake. Logan they knew. No, no, no. Ass. Logan knew he was screwed. I mean, he looked left and saw those three guys. So he's like, "Screw it. I'm gonna get right up next to Drake and make you kill him if you kill me." And naturally, Blue Four fell for it. And Logan once again showing his superiority out of everyone in FNF and still winning my heart in that scene. Absolutely. I mean, just for that alone, he absolutely gets MVP for all four, Poss or possibly sharing the Patriot, because uh, it's okay. Night Owl can clutch. Before. He's going to see uh, Nielsen in the doorway. Uh, well, not if he no, that not that. Why did you nope. not clear your left before you breached? Why didn't you pie it? You're supposed to pie it. Damn it, Night Owl. Oh, that's he, fine. He, he, he still has a sexy voice. He sprinted in, and then Nielsen was like, oh, hey, what's up? Yeah, did you see him just down. pointed at his bar? He's like, hey, I killed that guy. He just sprinted hey. up to me while I had my gun trained hey. on him. Wow. Hey, that guy released his hey. and I fucking killed him. Oh, oh God. Do you God. see his corpse? His uh, yeah, he's missing an arm. Uh, he's, for me, he's missing a leg. Oh, but that is. Oh God! Now, now they're turning them in the soup. Oh no! As Azariah would say, crushed raspberries. Oh.
All right, let's hop back out for debrief. By the way, guys, there are two more rounds, so please stick around. Uh, Barb and I will do something stupid for intermission to keep you entertained. All right, that was a pretty intense round. Can I get uh, team leaders to post their numbers for me, please? I would like to say one thing. Good. I will BRB one second. Oh, uh, hang on, I have to count numbers. Sorry. Sparks, are you here? Good game. Uh, I would like to say one thing uh, to keep it very interesting. Um, I recommend that factions, if switching comms, use decimals uh, for their new comms. Uh, that is it. It makes it a pain in the ass. We're free. Ready to go. What? We're free. It makes it more difficult to predict. I literally spent like 15 minutes last round trying to troll enemy frequencies and it didn't work. God well, save, that's dude. because... wait. You need to keep a database and track individual platoon leaders' favorite choices and see if you can work out a pattern. It wouldn't work anyway because you guys you have radio codes on. That's all that matters. That's a, li that's a lot of like machine learning. Like, I could probably predict each platoon leader's like preferred alternate platoon channel. But I'm gonna have time for that. Like, Fuck that. I, I, I What's mine? Of number generator. Just mine. build a just build a script that alternates between frequencies and screams on each one. I need to get to know you better, babe. <laughs> All right, break, 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 break. How many centaur? Six. Okay. All righty. Uh, Corey, can you install? Uh. Yeah, I would love to. But I'm kind of new. You just click your name on the uh, left side. Alrighty, let's get CSC on int four. You all have option for leadership. Sure. Let's get the. Oh, how many is twenty ninth? 15? Holy moly. Yep. Don't want it to flex him. Well then. Let's get 29th on blue four again. Let's put one RW on N4. Nice. Let's put AA on N4. AA, hey, take Alpha 2. Nice. Three. Two. Second MR. Second MRB, blue. And can I get an admin to slot Dreek as Bravo Squad Leader, please? I got some stuff for intermission. Got a second half option for leadership. Would you like it? Yep. You may take it. All right, let's see. The new map is uh, Nat right. Island. Okay. Let's get the, let's get Centaur on N4. Let's change that for the uh, command there. Let's get Cadian, blue four. Let's get SR on N4. 
Let's get FK on N4. Barb and I are coordinating who's gonna do what, um, what intermission. So I'm gonna do mine Steve, first, and he's gonna here? do his. Yes, sir. Two of you? Yeah. Yep. Alright, let me get... Let me get 242 on N4. Let me get TWS on Blue 4. Uh, yeah, sure. Go ahead, Don. Go ahead. Because I, I am so bad at setting up raids. Send in GOAT Team 6. Now. I keep saying I'm going to do them, but I always forget because I'm usually burnt the heck out by the end. But Overshot and Mike, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Slotted? Hope you keep enjoying the ops. Sorry. Hope you get Just a kick out of this. Um, individual players, you all can come blue for. So anyway, looks I like 31 versus 36. Delta teams. That would be two small. M, two M wraps, two UAZ dishes. Alrighty. Interesting. Yeah, slight blue for right. advantage because I got armor 60 on 60 seconds wraps. on the clock. Carpenter, get your platoon together. Let's see how blue four organizes. Platoon. So they've got a squad led by Logan. I think we're okay. Multiple <laughs> squads here, and they've got two MG teams right. and the Matt team. 60 seconds on That's the clock. Bad. Phil, get your platoon together. And then blue four uh, going heavy in the infantry. All right, a good deal. Let's go to the map screen. And two MGs again. So this is pretty much a mirror match, but uh, 37 on blue four, 31 oh, on I'd like to thank all the communities that have come out independent. to participate. I enjoy hearing your wonderful voices, and I enjoy you all shooting at me and me getting the opportunity to shoot at you. I also like performing medical attention to people when need be. It's always fun. So thanks for uh, gracing me with your all's presence. That was also, a very that's fun Anderson. first round. It's always nice to see the firefights when we get up to 70 people because a lot of ammunition fire, is expended. Um, and fights. you really have to start throwing around magazines to keep the firefight going. And that just adds a whole new, fun, flavorful aspect of the game. So thank you for giving me my immersion and my fix. If you are not accustomed like to the rules, if you are an individual player who has yet to go over that or had anybody go over that, please make your way over to our Discord and check out the rules. It's a pretty small, comprehensive list of what not to do. The staff doesn't like to be mean. We're, we're a pretty chill group of people until you start doing things that aren't in the spirit of the event, and then we kind of get a little mean sometimes. So just don't, don't make us feel that way. Best rule of thumb is if you don't want it done to you, don't do it. If you feel like it's an next point don't do it if you're going to complain about it then don't do it and without further ado what is our brief for round two attack defend blue attack green defense it is a rush style game mode the attackers need to hack both terminals it's got to be done in order so terminal one wait for that to finish and then terminal two yeah. all righty any questions from our platoon leaders All righty, good luck, have fun. Round two of FNF starts right now. By the way, if you want their Discord, just DM me on uh, Discord and I can give it to you. So we're going to go back down to the Casting Couch channel. Hey, Barb. Uh, hi, Levi. All right, I got to go yes. to voice activation. <laughs> yep, Levi? I'm sorry. No, I was setting up my voice activation. So we do have a little bit of an intermission oh, as uh, the force is set up. What have you prepped uh, for your intermission? Well, I, I, I don't want to say too much until it happens because it's going to be something special. Like I said okay. in, uh, in our little whisper. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't know if you now that I think about it, I don't know if you have it set up. You probably don't. But if you have video capture for Discord ready to go, that probably I do lot. not. Unfortunately, I was too busy bringing up a mini fridge and some ingredients and I'm going to make instant pudding. So I'm already going to start um, whisking my ingredients here. I got the mix and everything else right here, ready to go. Just gonna see, this take time me. He was late to make pudding. He's, a he's hot been second. Up for weeks. Yeah, he's been he's been keeping it all built up for a week since uh, last Friday. Really getting all those ingredients ready to make some more pudding. Um, I, I like pudding. Here, actually. Oh, I know you like pudding, my guy. What what the hell is wrong with you? Is it a is it vanilla pudding? Yes, it is vanilla pudding. 
Ah, nice sticky white pudding. That's so really I'm nice. slowly just adding a little bit of melt to the dry mix so we can avoid making clumps, and then I'm going to mix the rest of it in. But I always like to really whisk out my pudding here. Uh, that way, when it's done, I can stick it in the mini fridge I brought upstairs, and then we can enjoy it for round three. Oh, I see. So it's going to have to set for a little while. Okay. Yeah, you told me yours had to set too. So what are you doing? Uh, not quite set, but and I, I misunderstood what you said. Uh, oh, did you now? Well, I mean, you'll, you'll see what I, what I mean. Um, the problem is, is that I'm going to have to probably monitor capture your thing. Uh, your stream and for my stream. Oh, that's fine. I mean, I'm giving you an excuse to steal my viewers so they can go check you out on the multi Twitch uh, to see yeah, what you're well, doing because I know you like to steal my viewers, especially. Yeah, or if you, uh, the multi Twitch is kind of chonky today, so if you. Don't oh, have is it now? Internet, it, it is kind of chonky. Right, so uh, are you telling all of my viewers to go to twitch.com slash, uh, no, twitch TV slash barbarian weave? Is that, is that what we're going for today? That is. Correct, twitch.tv forward slash barbarian weeb. Wow, you're uh, really shilling for yourself tonight. I mean, I'm personally well, just busy whisking this pudding, pretending it's your face, and dragging you this whisk all around night. it, but what? Huh? You hey, hey, I, I have a tummy, okay? I like to make pudding, and that that's just how it is, you know? I mean, last week it was instant coffee. Uh, this time it's pudding. I'm thinking next time it'll be uh, grilled cheese or paninis with my panini maker. That is actually hilarious that you um, that you say that because uh, <laughs> um, oh man I'm gonna have to do some shopping next week then because uh, uh, long story my buddy from Canada is sending uh -huh. me a takoyaki pan wow uh, so next week I am planning on making some takoyaki so you'll make a grilled cheese or panini I'll be making a takoyaki some takoyaki a nice big old batch well Bloodwings always wanted to make takoyaki so I could invite her over next uh, next week and we could make oh, a better yes. takoyaki than you you know yeah, get those simp points going absolutely you can't simp for someone you've been in a six year relationship with not that you would know of course Maybe you can't, but your 90 plus Twitch viewers definitely can. Oh, um, mm -hmm, okay. If you, uh, set up a webcam and uh, have her do cosplay like the last unboxing. You know how many thirsty did boys you did you not appreciate my bunny uniform last uh, unboxing? That's why but the I fans mean, came. I, they I, came I, for Sergeant Fluffers, okay? Like you can get a thought anywhere, but you can't get a Sergeant Fluffers anywhere. Let's be honest, are you, Barbarian, are you okay? Huh? Oh, oh shit. No, wait, 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 wait. Uh, <laughs> Thank I'm God she doesn't watch here. either of us. Okay, we're we're good. We're good. No, I no, no. Speed dialing, uh, you don't have her number. Right we're now. good. And she will not um, believe you over me, and I have already deleted the VOD, and I am going to hack into your computer and delete the VOD because I did pay for it. Uh, yeah, but unlike uh, someone who actually knows what they're doing, you uh, you didn't have me install the software. Anyway, I'm going to now it. mix in the milk and get this all whisked up, and then we're going to stick it in the mini fridge. Because you got to remember, we are making pudding right now, right, Barbarian? We're Absolutely. not going to do anything to trash each other's relationships, right, Barbarian? We're just two right. guys here whisking pudding, right, Barbarian? <laughs> I mean, two guys whisking pudding together sounds awfully like a, awfully a lot like a certain uh, activity that I don't think Bloodwing would appreciate. Well, she doesn't have to know. She's not here now, is she? You know, I guess not. However, um, since you're wrapping that up, let me know if you're actually able to uh, set a. Uh, Set up just a, just a, just a okay. Well, I'm done. Little... I'm done whisking the pudding. I'm gonna put it in the fridge. Okay, so we're just gonna. All right, so that's in the fridge now. And what what do you need me to do? Um, if you can just set up a basic kind of monitor capture for yourself, um, I'm setting up something right now, and I will be sending you a Discord call here in a second uh, to show what I am doing. You you expect me to know how to do that? <sighs> Uh, okay, so you know how you did the, the, the capture thing for TeamSpeak? Uh-huh. Do that same thing, but for Discord, and I'm going to give right. you a call. I don't think this is the best idea, uh, because there's other monitors here that may or may not have stuff that I don't want Bloodwing to see. So, 
How about you either close those out or minimize those, friend? I really don't want to because I can't bookmark them either because of how the uh, dark just web works, but... Just minimize them, then, mm. you fucking degenerate. I don't wanna. Alright, well, then my bit's fucking dead, because... Okay, I, I, gosh, I, gosh I darn it, Barbarian. If You, you should have told I, me sorry, you needed but... Discord. I thought we were just going to do, like, what we did last week. Yes, I, I I know this is a this is very much off the cuff, but um this this is for the enjoyment of the viewer base, not the player base. But we're not Zeusing, aren't we? Do we not have control over this entire simulation? No, we're just talking shit about Nemesis and Flying Finn like we always do. <laughs> Fair. However, if you can set that up, please do. Oh my I god. Okay, I. I'll try. Just try. You, you just, just, just try. We have so what? A browser? Uh, I, the program. Capture the program or capture the monitor. One of the two. Ah, uh, um, you're, you're killing me, Smalls. I, I know, I know. Especially since you're fucking stupid. Great. I gotta, I gotta delete technology. all of these tabs that may or may I'm not sorry, be Jeffrey Epstein level of incriminating. You have, sorry you hey, have to hey, hey, before. hey, good stuff is hard to come by these days, okay? See what I did there? Huh? Ha 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 ha? Okay. No, I don't get it. Can you please explain? Ah, uh, it's okay. I'm, I'm sure you'll understand one day. All right, let's minimize my server window. Let's minimize stuff with my real name on it. Let's minimize uh, that that has all the server info, too. Uh, wow, you're, you're really killing me here, Smalls. That I am. Uh, Faded Dar, thank you for the follow. Okay, let's, let's go ahead, put this over here, and let's see if this little capture thingy works. Um. Wait, you want me to go to Discord? Hey, Barb? Barb. Yes, what's up? I don't think we should risk Discord. And you know why. Can, can, can you not full screen the, the thing? Can you, can the you thing? like, can, we need to delete like half the stuff on there. <laughs> <sighs> just, just full screen. Can you full screen the video? I don't. Call? I don't trust myself, barbarian. I honestly don't. You've already deleted the vod. It's fine. No, it's not because Twitch takes you that seriously. No. Okay, okay, okay. Move the stuff to the other. We are burning. The I can't. I can't. I don't feel comfortable. Monitor. Stop sending trap porn, and it wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> Why is it gotta be trap porn? I, I, that's the question for you. Uh, I mean, I, I I regret saying we'll do it live. Fuck it, we'll do it live. Fucking thing sucks. However, Barb just put I, it up on your stream. I it's fine. I, what do you mean you can't? Because I don't know how. My only webcam is my fucking phone. That's about ten times better Wait, than your webcam. Then, hold, than why would we stream it through my stream to yours if you can't stream it on your own? It's called desperation. What do you mean desperate? Are you just trying to show my channel? I just said stream it on yours. We just literally directed everyone I, to your channel. I, I I can't. Okay, the thing is, my computer and my phone are separate. I can't set up a phone input with the camera to my stream because I don't know how to do that. Um, I could. What the uh, hell? Actually, hold on. Let, 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 wait, no, I think I know. Wait, how much time do we have left? How much time do we have left? Like three minutes and we haven't uh, even yeah. talked about the factions yet we have four minutes okay no it's fine it's fine um i'm gonna oh shit this is gonna be so scuffed this is why oh, we have gonna... to test things first barbarian you can't just drop testing, and say you want me to do discord testing, we have to delete that's, all that's the trap stupid. porn and then hold we on. can do stuff like that okay hold god no, damn it I, ha I have an idea four minutes barbarian but we really need to talk about the two factions and what they may or may not do 
Okay, I, I've just killed my stream. I'm gonna start my stream on my phone. Wait, why'd you kill your stream? Because I'm gonna start my stream on my phone. Let's Barb! Give him a warm welcome, shall we? Barb, never kill the stream! That's how you lose viewership! You silly okay, goose! This, is, this isn't about me, this is about you. What? Why is it about me? So confused. Barb? Hold on. Barb, we can just save it for the next intermission, okay? <sighs> Fucking... Well, don't say that... Uh, why what, do you, not... what do you want from me? You can't just say... Ah! We have to coordinate stuff where you want me to stream through you. Like, we have to assess that first, all right? There's a big okay. difference from between me making fucking pudding and Hold you on. trying to no. stream through my stream. It's Streamception, okay? I'm pretty sure Leonardo DiCaprio, when he made that movie, at least went to like five people's dreams before they shot it live, okay? It's practice, all right? They had plenty of time to delete their trap porn, but we did not. You see the problem here? I'm pretty sure that the plot of Inception was finding the trap porn, but okay. No, it was... Oh, fuck. No, it was putting the trap porn to make it into another guy's idea that he would set up the... I don't know, that movie was convoluted anyway. Well, okay, cool. My Twitch client just crashed on my phone anyway, so I'm just gonna restart my stream. Okay. Barb, I, I think we made a breakthrough here, okay? We've learned. Yeah, we got really far. We've on, learned, me... okay? Two minutes left, Barbarian, can you make it? No, well, no, well, I, my stream's back up now. Sorry, fucking Christ. It's okay. Deep breaths, buddy. We still have another intermission. Yeah, just... Well, the thing is, I don't know how else to do it, because I'd have to kill my stream otherwise, like I just did. Okay, and... well, here's it. We'll save it for next week. We'll make it even better, but we need to test something like that okay. first, because you can't here, just drop here. something on that like me, you know? I, I know, I know, I know. I can't just drop something on you like that. But real quick, it was I was going to teach the stream how to uh, chug a beer. How, I'm sorry, no, how to shotgun a beer, I should say. Okay. Now, I'm going to ask my stream... Stream, would you like to watch Barbarian shotgun a beer next week? Okay, so he can get hammered and then we can make fun of his addiction to trap porn. And alcohol. Both of those things. Well, the first person said no, so... What? Well, fuck them. Who was it? My audio guy. <laughs> but everyone else is saying yes, so it's okay. No, Don, you can't time out my audio guy. I need him. <laughs> Everyone I else is saying yes, Barbarian, guy. okay? It's okay. Okay, cool. All right, cool. Then we'll do it next week. We'll test it sometime, and we'll, okay. we'll set it up. We're, we're probably like, going to have to have you shotgun a lot of beers to test, okay? Probably before we stream it live, so fine. you'll well, probably here, get hammered, okay? Here. Uh, here. Okay. You know what? Okay. Mm -hmm. can, can, you, can you hear this? Yes, I, I heard that. Okay. That is 24 ounces of yingling. I will now keep my mic open while I chug the okay. thing normally because I can't shotgun it, you know, just with okay. my hand. So, yep. so, yep. so here we go. What, what are you doing with the other hand? Holding Barb. on the mic button, you fucking pervert. Just go on voice activation like I do, you weirdo. You're killing the mood. What am I? I'm not killing the mood. You're the, the, the mission started. started. The chug. <laughs> chug it. All right, now while Barbarian you, you, chugs you, that yeah, beer, chug, chug the you, beer, chug the fucking beer. Okay, okay. So while Barbarian chugs that beer, uh, we got independent forces are all uh, situated around right now. They're pretty sporadic here, trying to get multiple uh, garrisons here to get eyes on this valley as Blue Four comes up. Meanwhile, Blue Four looks like is actually deploying on foot with their MRAS. So that looks like it's because they don't really have any transport VIX. So their mobility is a bit limited, but that's going to buy independent a few more minutes to organize. Uh, that first vehicle already going down Main Street and the other Vic staying back possibly as a command Vic uh, but looks like they're gonna get mounted up now Barb are you okay hold on no I wasn't able to finish it my, I got too much carbonation oh my gosh Barb, Barb, come on, you can do better than that. I know you can anyway we're gonna look around try to find uh, independence Fuck you I, I know you want to, but Bloodwing said no. We've been over this. But anyway, we're going to look over. Uh, looks like they Babe, do have no, Excalibur having an RPG. You okay? Yes. 
Okay, just making sure because I love you and cherish you. Anyway, it looks like we have the marksman for independent as Patriot. He's trying to set up a position here. They also have uh, multiple machine guns up here too. So he's intermingled with uh, basically an auto rifleman group. But wait, is that a third machine gun? Uh, no, so it's, um, hold up. No, I can't count for shit. It is, it is two machine guns. All right, now I'm going to try to find where that gun is. We're already hearing some gunshots here. I think that's just, uh, it's nearest shooting out the windows, uh, just so we can get better eyes, but, uh, he's got to be careful because broken windows can be, uh, very obvious targets for the, uh, players here. Meanwhile, Wiki hanging out in the weed bushes, uh, he's got a machine gunner next to him, uh, Carpenter is platoon HQ, he's staying in the center, and we have more RPGs, and, Ew. yeah, what? Thank you so much for that. And Indigo Fox, he's also backtracking here. He might uh, just be watching to make sure Blue 4 doesn't do any uh, wide flanks to the north or south. And I did not spot any type of uh, Marpat, Titan, or Javelin AT. I only spotted two RPGs here, so either I'm blind or there just simply aren't any deployed. Check Stray Dog over here. He's uh, definitely in the thicket. I can't right, even get um, a good camera angle on him. What, what, what's what's going on now? Tell me what. Nope. So Stray Dog, he has another RPG. I don't think there's Here's any. Some of my B day money. Enjoy and keep operating. With thank you, you, Quail. I uh, thank you, Breen. I enjoy it a lot. I uh, hope you keep enjoying the Ops, my man, That's and right, I hope you get a I kick out of, this. out of this. It, you little bitch. Now I you're stealing my lines off. too. Yeah, I, it's, I mean, hey, we're both the same body type, so one day I could just become you. I that's that's awkward. Your, I can peel there the are three machine gunners up here. I, I don't want to think about that. That's really weird, Barb. I think you should lay off the sauce for a few minutes. But anyway, we got three RPG guys. Uh, they're all just trying to form a good defensive on the uh, perimeter here. Meanwhile, a uh, vehicle has pulled up. Uh, looks like it's just scouting the MSR. And I'm gonna now oh, look at blue four. Yeah, these are the small ones. Um, pretty I, much the I vanilla ports. The, the, yeah, I figured they'd be the, the long boys that can hold a lot of dudes inside. So I know it um doesn't matter for caliber, but blue four is actually rocking scars. They are. They're not. Are, are they actually? Is what I'm yeah. to say. I'm Let's, seeing yeah, a lot of from scars. Their, from, their, uh, from their kit, it looks like a bit more SOCOM-y than just. Uh, Yep, definitely Marine Base. M16, boys. Also seen 240s, and I'm seeing um, 230s on some 5.56 rifles as well, but uh, I would imagine the config rewrite would balance that ammo out. Also, I'm not seeing that much AT on Blue Force side. Uh, I'm only seeing a few sticks. Uh, nothing major. Well well, the thing is, uh, N4 only has those two Dishkum UAZs. They don't really mm -hmm. have uh, any armor, so even just a rifleman can take out those uh, vehicles. Yep. In theory, at least. But um, uh, on the opposite side, do they have that uh, uh, that Titan still? Or nope. Uh, any... All I saw after looking through everyone was Independent only has three RPGs. I didn't see any sticks, though. But uh, sustained grenadier fire on those MRAPs could uh, knock them out if uh, they get some good hits on the engine block. Yeah, I'm taking a look. Uh, Victor Reznov looks to be their MAT uh, gunner. He has an RPG-7 with that. Uh, the difference being uh, that he has the PGO 7 v 3 sight. So mm -hmm. he actually has accurate ranging with a multitude of rocket types up out to anywhere from 200 to 400 meters. <laughs> Thanks, Wolves. Uh, but yeah, they don't have that Titan. I guess this was possibly before the the change to add some more... Uh, Just for balance, I'd say. But uh, we have an MRAP on the southern section here on a hill. Good overwatch on the uh, Blue Four, excuse me, Independence first objective. Uh, and it looks like Blue Four is going to go for the classic uh, pincer maneuver, taking units down the MSR and taking the other half of their units on a flanking route. However, uh, Independent does have two guys on a really tall hill that are going to be able to spot that coming in. So. We'll have to see where yeah. Blue Four tries to maneuver and how Independent responds to that large flank. 
Yeah, that big old church, I mean, it's an obvious target, obvious hard point to hold, but Green Tour has dug in. They have a number of MMGs watching the uh, ingress routes along the road in that valley. Um, we're seeing some shots go uh, come out from the town towards the Blue Fort that are in uh, Schatzbach, but, um, I mean, this is... I'd be very surprised if Command wanted them to go down the MSR because it is asking for just just asking for fire. that death trap. But even I mean, so, Independent a, has a planned death. for it. Yeah, they they. I mean, it's the obvious defense to plan for, but they know that it's that that might not be what happens. So Stray, I believe, is the Matt guy because he does have those tandem uh, warheads equipped, and I think he's just waiting for uh, one of those uh, MRAPs to come in, but the MRAP that was on Recon, it is firing up uh, at a far position that uh, they kind of built up as their HQ, and the uh, machine gunners responding in kind, but he's spraying at an MRAP, so he's not really going to do too much damage there. Also, we just saw a Stray shot from a different angle, uh, that appears to be a single guy in the uh, trees in the middle. Uh, it's Paradise here, and Paradise does have the um, marksman rifle. So he is trying to get a few shots up on uh, those guys. If he could get a headshot or two, take out some early guys, that could be a definite advantage here. But it was um, like 36 to 31 uh, Blue Ford uh, Independent. So Yeah, it was interesting to see as far as the logistical side of things. Um, as far as overhead, um, that Blue 4 only has a slight numerical advantage. Usually it's, uh, you know, 20% or 25%, but this, it just said slight. So it's only like a handful of, of men. And Lima knows a lot about a handful of men, but um, not Thanks, a lot Barbarian. Of, uh, difference between the N4 and uh, Blue 4 groups as far as manpower specifically. I would say Blue 4's main advantage are those two uh, MRAFs with the 50 cal guns because if they know that Independent only has RPGs and no Titans, they could really use the mobility of those guns to their advantage and completely avoid any RPGs. But I did like what the MRAP was doing. It was drawing the fire of the machine gun positions so that the marksman could try to spot them out. He is firing again, uh, and he's trying to basically get a few headshots, possibly to uh, open up, get uh, knocking a few dudes to uh, give Blue for an early advantage. The problem with those MRAPs is that the gunner is very much exposed, especially, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Nalu, especially from a uh, higher angle position. If they were to take fire, if the MRAP was to push in and take fire from either of the two hilltop positions that N4 has uh, set up in, the gunner would be extremely exposed, not just from the head, but from the arms and the torso as well, uh, making them very easy pickings um, by comparison of just like flat terrain by the way quick update independent has spotted that large northern push uh it looks like some machine gun fire started from the church building across the valley uh instead of being spotted by uh, the recon element we also see patriot coming around on the southern flank possibly to scout for more maybe he's going to try to uh get behind him he is their marksman though so I think he's just trying to find some good spots to possibly shoot at the rear of Blue 4's advance. Also, a lot of grenade rounds now going down the main slope where a lot of Blue 4 is pushing up. And um, Blue 4 is actually crawling through the little opening of the uh, big shed to uh, try to move up. And we're hearing yeah, these uh, 240s think, uh, also starting to open up. I think Arcor actually was uh, one of the people who spotted him out. Arcor and Martin up there far removed from uh, Green Fort, but Argus looking at them with his uh, Vector oh. 21. Um, oh. just, uh, he, he, it's a perfect sightline to oh. that, uh, to the Blue Forest flanking position. Um, so he, I wouldn't be surprised if he was the one who called that out. And if he wasn't, then that's just a really good coincidence. So Wiki, who's up at that uh, Northern Command structure, I just watched his head get taken off. He is dead uh, from that 50 cal MRAP. Uh, he didn't even have a chance there. It desynced a little bit. And he went down. Also, that Northern group uh, that was scouting it out, they are now suppressing 
that northern advance led by Anderson. And uh, he is now trying to divert his guys to go look for that fire as well. But they're going to go down that valley. And I'll be curious to see if uh, Blue 4 tries to do uh, another ambush here. But it looks like Blue 4 also doing a really good job with their MRAPs. They got one on the southern hill, one on the northern hill. I think they know that the uh, enemies only have RPGs because... Um, if Independent had a Titan, these MRAPs would be dead by being on these big hills, but because they are only fighting RPGs, they're going to be a very big uh, force multiplier and just be able to resuppress the enemy uh, PKM, PKP positions and possibly get a few kills in here and there. Also, I'm seeing towards the north, um, we have a man down actually for Blue 4, uh, Man um, Mannerham, I can't pronounce his name, but uh, hopefully a medic will be able to get on. But there's another guy right behind him that's dead. So, um, independent, uh, that was an auto rifleman position, again, across the valley that um, shot in. So their effects are, they're definitely getting some kills in here. And that's what independent needs to get, despite being pinned down by these uh, MRAP positions. You got anything that you've spotted? I mean, I'm really just focused on this northern group. I'm, I have a friend messaging me on Steam. I'm trying. I, I'll, I'll during the next intermission, I'll give a nice little story about it. But um, no, this uh, group uh, now headed up by uh, the Bravo Blue Four group, headed up by Drake and Anderson. Looks like they're you can get in to kill West uh, in the direction of uh, Martin and Arcorp, who are retreating themselves west. Um, Not always, but they're going to push through this kind of low ground. Uh, through this uh, low ground and thick forest and push into the north. I mean, Blake, uh, Snow, and Misu, they've set up quite the defensive structure with these Tesco's barbed wire and, dump and bunker placement and everything, but with only three people defending it, mm -hmm. the, just the numbers, I think Blue Boar would be able to steamroll that pretty much and take it for themselves. And if they were to be able to take it for themselves, uh, that would give them really great positioning um, across the entirety oh. of the city in the AO. So real quick, quite a few things just happened. First off, Independent was able to get an RPG on the Southern MRAP and kill both dudes. Uh, they fired an RPG on the Northern one too, but it was just short and it managed to pull away. Uh, Blue 4 has also set up a 240 position. They're firing at the church, but they haven't realized that that um, Independent position is pulling back, possibly to do a wide flank. But whoever made that RPG shot on that MRAP, very, very good aim. Uh, might have been Stray Dog, or it might have been the other guy that's in the um, first terminal site, uh, Excalibur, who has that RPG. He's also loaded a tandem, so it might have been Excalibur, actually, so that Stray Dog could uh, try to engage the northern one. Pickups. Yeah, I mean, I, I want, well, actually, um, I'm seeing the smokestack out in the forest. One of those MRAPs is dead. Yep, yep, no, that was, um, I think, Excalibur's. A beautiful shot. Both the gunner and the driver are down. Blue 4 losing that as a force multiplier oh. is going to be very, very bad. What would you On see? On top of the men down, um, uh, the, yeah, like, and the MRAP is down, as well as the two guys inside. A driver mm -hmm. and gunner are both dead. So that's going to collapse Blue Force Southern Flank, which is what Independent needs to set up that machine gun team. Again, they've got three PKMs now adjusting. That's a very, very dangerous team because they could set up somewhere, catch one of these two large forces out of position, either the North or the Southern. I think they're going to hunt for the Southern one and they could easily cut down a few dudes. Also that um, middle group, they have a man KIA, unfortunately. Um, I think the marksman is still okay though, but they're uh, trying to keyhole. While we're, still, in, while Go we're ahead. still in kind of limited contact, I would like to bring your attention to the green fork kit. Uh, if you go to where Op War Dog is right now, you'll see a couple of dead bodies. Uh, I want you to take a look specifically at their chest rig. Where is, uh, where's War Dog? Uh, by the first. Yeah, objective. I see him, I see him. Yep, what about, um, what about their kits? Do you see their, uh, the chest rig? Maybe on the dead guy? that's next to him what what is that um that is a chest rig the chest rig has no armor plates inside wow of it. green four uh and now blue four uh, to, to be yep. fair blue four has very small plates very small sappy plates but they have armor in four does not so and basically that might be why that might be why they only have a slight numerical advantage because of the equipment disparity between the two factions Ooh. however mm-hmm 
that I mean, configs aside, FNF does have those configs to uh, kind of even the the um, the odds between you know heavy Russian armor and kind of uh, relatively weaker American armor. But um, with these, they have no armor at all. So I'm very curious to see how they are balanced, if at all. And a tandem heat round going out from Koroshev, but it way short, way low, way, way, way short. I think he and had, I think he just out. thought uh, he had a 7v in there. Also, um, Blue Four pulling off the valley. They're going to go regroup with friendly forces to the north. Another guy went down and Marshall is bleeding out. And Nielsen is just sitting there kind of shell-shocked at this point. Yeah, uh, Bravo Blue 4 is, I mean, they've pushed up to uh, where our core's old position was, uh, and they are a great threat to that uh, entrenched position to the real north. Real quick, real city. quick, Independent is setting up one of those PKPs. They're trying to get eyes on. They could catch some of those Blue 4 guys out of position as they're displacing. It's just a matter of spotting them. But the tree cover they're stacked behind right now is a bit spotty. Uh, it's mainly concealment, not cover. But we have uh, Paradise looking in that direction. He is the marksman. Uh, looks like he's pulling out a rangefinder to get the range, and then he could potentially start doming dudes. So we'll have to see what that results in. I'm going to go look at the uh, northern battle. Uh, Blue 4 now moving up, attacking those two guys that were on the hill. But now uh, Blue Four's really got a bank on that push uh, getting in, keeping their units um, close together with that MRAP because independent for how well they've been doing, they are still very spread out and Blue Four could easily take advantage of that. Yeah, now we're seeing Arkar and Martin. They're pushing back up to their old position. They have a camping table under this tree, a nice day location, somewhere I'd like to take you sometime and spend a nice picnic with you. However, oh, I bet you would. situation uh, with about eight or so blue for you plus an m rep um not the best place um i'd like to be penetrated by you not by uh multiple rounds of five he's trying and so hard seven by 99. Mm. anyway uh that machine gun group is uh starting to open fire on guys crossing the open doesn't look like they got any hits uh, they're not noticing to the left two more guys crossing some fire being exchanged but paradise is also lining up some shots here uh i don't think he's being effective though he's go his rounds are just going uh, a little to the right actually no he, he killed somebody <laughs> yeah i'm sorry i'm still laughing from what i said i think the marksman's trying to counter another guy just got shot not down though but Paradise doing a really good job uh, keeping this group suppressed so his uh, forces can continue to move and reinforce the uh, northern push. Now this just needs to be a matter of can independent rally and deal with this large northern push that's going to happen. They do have two guys far on rear security. No, three guys. Uh, I guess they're just keeping them in reserve. I don't really see what... Uh, no, it looks like um, they've got one of their AT guys in the back. Uh, so they're just trying to prevent any uh, MRAP rushes that go around that flank, but they're really peculiar about what Blue Four might do from that northern hill if they're all gonna uh, if they're gonna all break off and uh, try to storm through a bunch of different areas. Uh, and they're just trying to keep that vanguard security there. But Blue Four, I think, is gonna go all in right here. Uh, looking back at the independent oh, guys, no! the, the other... RPG oh, just God. went on that MRAP, didn't it? No, yes it did, and now now it goes down, the beautiful man with the even beautiful And the voice. machine gun just tore the shit out of Blue 4, guys, you don't want to see that. Charge went off as well, that thing was rigged, and it just killed even more Blue 4. A perfect trap by Op 4 right next to their HQ. Auto Rifleman oh unfortunately going down, but that trade was perfect, and that MRAV's gun might still be operational, but that was absolutely beautiful. I was just about to comment that Paradise got another kill off that independent team, and has made them pull back, which has pretty much saved the rest of his guys to now get up and join the group, but they're going to be desperately needed on this flank now, because Blue four just lost at least a fourth of their guys and at least a third of their force considering that mrap force multiplier but now that it's infantry versus infantry i think independent has the number advantage and just look at the beautiful concave if you look on your map screen that curve they have on blue force position uh stray dog just got shot though he was the leftmost guy i think someone spotted him poking
smoking out. So that is unfortunate. But I'm curious to see what these two independent guys might do on the rear. If they might try to collapse on the left side, maybe go for stealing that MRAP. But they could potentially get behind this blue four group and cause significant damage because so many blue four guys, since they've uh, left the middle valley, are now trying to get in the forest and come in from the north to reinforce blue four because of the fear of that southern machine gun team uh independent could honestly come in and just dish a shit ton of damage here yeah and the thing with that mrap is it's not smoking uh with those rgs mraps and rgs vehicles in general when the uh hello work uh but when oh goodbye work um but when <laughs> my nice. uh my tfr is gonna try to keep moving me oof uh just disabled my friend but um yeah the with that mrap uh, with rhs fix in general when the engine gets hit it'll start smoking but it's not smoking on that it got hit in the window that's why you see the yeah that right windshield taken out and some uh cracking on the gunner uh the gunner's uh position uh, those reinforced windows so green four could take it there's but there's a number there's about half a dozen blue four guys even more uh of bravo still up here um and they could potentially uh again we're not totally sure of the condition of that mrap but uh if it's still usable then they either side could take it and uh work on it i'm having, really sorry go ahead work having been part of that push uh we're basically considering that mrap toast mm -hmm. uh, so blue four is pretty to much work gonna give was up, up that here when he got unless oof. we go put eyes on on it and have somebody jump in it yeah, and we're seeing this turn just into the first mission back over again, and that's a problem now that it, I mean, so this machine uh, or, sorry, now Blue Four has position. been corralled into this northern area, and it's not a bad position as far as defensive, uh, you know, defensive capabilities, but that's not what they're trying to do. They're on the attacking side. They have to push down into this um, square compound, take the building, take the bunker, arm the uh, terminal and then defend it and push on to a completely different objective in a city. Without those two MRAPs, without the mobility and the firepower that they have, I'm, I, I mean, it's a little early, but I think it's very questionable the uh, probability of Blue Four being able to take this now. Hold up, looks like Martin is gonna come up to this MRAP and see what, uh, if it's drivable. And I heard an engine click on and they have stolen the MRAP. Oh my god, who is that? He hasn't been... Fire, yep, he's getting blue on blue because not everyone has been told. Also, quick thing to note, because I am playing a little bit of favoritism, Finn and Nemesis are on the wide left flank, and uh, they could potentially go around and hit blue, uh, blue 4 from the north. Uh, at the very least, they're pulling that security in case Blue 4 decides to send units out and around. Oh no, Martin, 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 you need to cease your actions right now. What's Martin doing? Uh, he's rubbing the Vic into the scaffolding next to oh, the... Oh, uh, he's got to be careful not to armor that. But I, I want to see if he can check if that gun's still working because, you know, a 240 is great, and but that gun court. is working. Oh, yep. there goes our court. That has he... just made that position a lot scarier, and Blue 4 honestly needs to find a different place to advance because if they have to go up against that M2, it's all over. Speaking of which, do you guys know where they brought their uh, Dishka UAZs? Because I have not seen them this entire game. Me neither, which is, uh, yeah, I was kind of wondering what, if and when they'd show up. Um, and yeah, it's been so long, I forgot their existence. I saw them moving around. I want, I wonder if they've been using them for mobility, but they can only hold three people. Yeah. So they can't even use it for that. I'm I'm going to fly around real quick, much to the, uh, to the uh, chagrin of my chat, but... Um, uh, like maybe, <laughs> maybe the guys on the far western oh, edge on. have them. What, what? Do you see where uh, Finn and Nemesis are? Yeah. <laughs> Just, they're so far away from everything. I think they decided to put down their Finnish ways and get an apartment together. Uh, you know how they've been talking. So I'm, I'm glad that they're working it out. Because I remember uh, I mean, from where we're from in TSB, they had some marital issues. But I'm glad to see that um, I, it looks like they've gotten an apartment together and just two, brings I mean, a tear to my a eye. Classic, it's a classic story of two old men finally coming out of the closet and, uh, you know, coming out of the closet, you know what By I'm the saying? way, real quick, that MRAP getting crewed with a driver too, uh, I don't, I'm trying to look for Blue Force uh, AT and I'm not seeing it. I know they had two sticks, but 
they might be completely defenseless against their own up armed MRAP, and this could get very, very ugly. Blue 4, meanwhile, pushing a few guys to try to get through the independence defenses, but they're still outgunned. Sorry, go ahead, Barbarian. Well, so it's it's a very interesting scenario with that MRAP now, because, yeah, obviously the kids weren't balanced to fight an MRAP because they weren't intended, or the mission maker wasn't intending them to fight an MRAP. But at the same time, you have... You gotta be kidding me. You gotta... Yes, okay, okay, never what mind. What just happened? Okay. Um, Martin just flipped the AMRAP, but he did a complete oh, error roll. Cack. Um, so he, so he's fine. But um, anyway, yeah, with that AMRAP, the right windshield on it is blown out. So um, in addition to the gunners poking his uh, cute little melon face out of the top, um, you also have the... Uh, the whole deal with it, you know his groin and his lower extremities being visible. MRAP opening fire on guys crossing. They're completely in the open, but yeah, they got a little bit distance, of tree cover for them. From this distance, I don't know if that if that would really make that much of a difference. As far as the, the vulnerability of the MRAP, I mean. So I'm gonna quickly look at all the blue four guys, because I'm looking to find any AT. Uh I'm Lock not three. Montgomery, where is he? Lance Corporal Montgomery, he is by the Bravo. Uh, he's yep. actually by the Platoon HQ marker. He he's is, he's uh, the only guy I see with a stick. No, and Firefighter has the other stick. All right, so they still got those up and available. But if uh, Independent takes them out, they could play very fast and loose with that MRAP and just cause significant damage and just run people over, to be perfectly <laughs> the problem, honest. The, pro the problem that is is that Firefighter and Montgomery are together. Mm -hmm. So... Your they, Mike Stein. They, they're going to need to spread out a little bit. God damn it. Um, but yeah, they, um, probably internet's dying as well. But yeah, they're the two that are um, together. And or, the two of them are together is what I mean to say. And they still haven't taken this this base. You know, the AMRAP is still up. This is looking very, very good for uh, Info right now. They have completely cornered uh, Blue for They're not even the only one person. Uh, the only person close to the uh, MSR is pure paradise and even then he's taking fire 15, from Polish. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 9 10 11 12 And 15, it is interesting to note 15, if you uh 15, 16, follow Korshev in his first person you can hear a mind detector beep going off. They have set charges around this area uh in anticipation of them uh you know pushing in and uh, mm -hmm. Blue 4 actually being able to, to mount an assault. By the way, but... Blue 4 is in a really tight spot. If they save T5 Bay, they will have 16 people, but Independent have 23. Uh, so Independent, with that numbers advantage and with the MRAP, I do not see Blue 4 pulling out of this one. Unless they just somehow win the gunfight head on. Uh, and they could break through if they consolidate and figure out there's only a few guys between them and the first objective but independence done a really good job of just spreading their forces out and keeping things all consolidated so if blue four can break through somewhere that's going to be great but otherwise they're just waiting for the mrap to come and break in as you mentioned that anderson and sergeant pie they're shooting up from up on the hill towards mm -hmm. excalibur and koroshev uh Two of the three people inside of that Terminal 1 area. Um, they're taking some fire and they weren't really effective, but it is good to remember that Blue 4 is on a hill position, on an elevated position, uh, I mean. So they have that um, advantage as far as height. Uh, if the N4 you know, uh, personnel at Terminal 1 are sloppy or they get you know a little bit too ballsy, they could very easily screw themselves over based on blue force positioning i will say paradise is still up as well he is blue force marksman i've been seeing him get a few good licks in here and there uh definitely did a good job with that southern uh machine gun team and i think those guys have actually just pulled into the main group now to reinforce uh actually no they're by a little um one of the small uh fricky frack uh apartment buildings and they're, try they're trying to set up a new base of fire from the rear just in case anything slips through the line so good call there but again i'll be really curious to see where paradise sets up shop now but going right in the middle of where the major fight is isn't going to do him any favors but i think he's also just trying to get some good eyes on to where the enemy forces are meanwhile i don't remember who had the marksman rifle i think it was excalibur for independent but I don't uh, see him with... I think he might have been an AT guy, actually. I just don't remember on the top of my head who had the uh, 
the Mark 14 or whatever. I think it was... I think it was Patriot. Yes, yes, it was Patriot. Uh, do you know where he is? Uh, yes. He's he dead. in the dirt. Oof. <laughs> he, he, he is taking a dirt nap. Um, I did see a uh, username Runda Thunder saying he was in for Marksman. Also, what's that is asking what these communities are? This is uh, Friday Night Fights, which is a collaboration event between 29th Infantry Division, Cadian, um, for a number of others, CSC, uh, mm -hmm. and just a lot of, and, and really much anyone. It doesn't even have to be a community. It's a very just kind of free that form building. and a lot of, uh, there are a good amount of just independent players. <laughs> I guess that's kind of a pun, but um, it's just a lot of people coming together to play PvP. Mm-hmm. Do it every Friday night. We have uh, both uh, EU and NA servers, different times for different folks. This plan uh, for Blue Four is a uh, absolute far cry from what the original I mean, you, plan was. Uh, you can call it a f uh, clusterfuck, dude. It, it, I mean, the positioning that they're in, it's gonna just turn into a war of attrition, and I mean, it's just a repeat of Mission One. With both of the, the, the force multipliers for Blue 4 being taken out very early on, they were able to get some work done, arguably a bit more than the Op 4 um, assets from the first mission, but uh, it, Blue 4 is now... Real quick, Firefighter coming up to Chris's position. Uh, Chris is able to hide himself. Might have just spotted... Oh gosh, nope. Firefighter Ooh. gets the eyes on him through the uh, window, and that's going to give Blue 4 a little bit of a break to push in this position. Independent, for whatever reason, has pulled back, and I guess are trying to bait Blue 4 out of that tree line. Uh, I guess just fearful that Blue 4 might go for an outflank. But Blue 4, that's their second HEDP um, shot with their 136. I don't think they have any AT left. That would expend all of the AT I think we have available at a glance. So if and, independence uh, counting, yeah. sorry, go ahead, Barb. Well, I was just gonna say, like, I haven't seen much of that MRAP, but even if they just no, I, I see it now. Uh, they just they just pulled it back, but um, mm -hmm. that they're gonna have to play it very smart in order to bait it into a position to where they can kill it from, because or just defang it, because like I said, the gunner is exposed. But from that far away position, good Turn luck getting fire. a good shot on it from. 400 500 plus meters out while that thing can range out and dome you with a 50 cal well you got to remember paradise is still alive he does have the marksman rifle he has been hunting infantry he's trying to get excalibur's group at the first terminal uh he could potentially make that shot if that mrap keeps doing what it's been doing it basically goes to a position it holds there for a few moments uh but it looks like the gunner is turned in now actually no i think it's being solo crewed by arcor do you see a second well, okay. guy in there um, I, yes, the, uh, well, let's see now. Um, I believe it was Arcor and, ooh, who was the other guy? What is Maybe Carlson Wiki? doing? I'm not sure, but, um, no, right now, yeah, it is being solo crewed by Arcor. However, I do want to bring attention back to uh, Blue Force position because Firefighter was able to clear out that big ooh. old uh, HQ compound. He's taking fire now and he's he just went down. down but yep. But that that um, enforced uh, reinforced position, uh, I've been talking that up, and if Blue Force is able to uh, to get to there, that's a pretty good position to be in, just generally speaking, both for um, uh, the positioning of it and the reinforcement around it. And Firefighter does actually get executed and yeah, exactly. Dead What's dead. that? So what's that bring up a good point about that MRAP can still be doing a good job for shooting and scooting, but if it is being solo crewed right now, they will lose that factor. Uh, I think it's interesting note, Carlson has been doing a massive amount of recon on the northern flank, and you actually have some people that started moving up there, but it looks like they're pulling back instead. Uh, I, this might fall to time. There's only another um, 25 minutes left, and Blue 4 needs to make yeah. a move soon. I think uh, Yep. Mentality right now with with who is remaining, I think I think their mentality right now is to get dug in, uh, especially with, uh, without some of the the louder voices telling them to get moving. Cosmonaut's gone, Dreek's gone. Mm -hmm. Some of the some of the uh, uh, some some of the people that really push those attacks on in uh, are now removed from that equation, and it's exactly what we're seeing. They're they're grabbing the only 
piece of relative safety what they got and they're just struggling to figure out what to do next and get any type of aggression up for a push so the we do have parent two... go ahead uh well the last two command analysts that i can see on the map would be anderson and ramirez um that's two squad leads uh for about 10 maybe 12 infantry uh for blue four and I, you just throw a grenade? I just i mean i, I get why they're digging in because it's pretty much their only oh, option or, or best option if there's even a few of them but it's it's not a great uh place for them to be original plan alpha the alpha elements were not even supposed to be on this position Th this this hold up uh, hold, real quick to interrupt blue four is making their move uh they just had paradise throw a smoke more smoke being pulled out and they're they're gonna start assaulting the objective despite casey having a machine gun out he's probably gonna get a few kills in continue Warwick. uh but but casey casey actually has to reload but uh, <laughs> go ahead sorry Oh, no, it's uh, from what the original plan was, was the Bravo elements would move along uh, much, uh, pretty much the, the route that all the elements took, and they would actually set up on that uh, on that little hill up there with that, uh, those trees, and they would be the ones to either provide base of fire for the Alpha elements, which was supposed to move up mm -hmm. with the M ramps through the MSR, and depending on what happened they're either supposed to be base of fire or be able to flex in and go in and take that terminal site instead of alpha uh, that completely disintegrated upon uh the church compound da, 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 over here at uh what's this over here? to the uh, south the, yeah over at uh six eight here we go. uh that that once those machine guns spotted Bravo's move, um, and the MRAPs really just outpaced the uh, lead element the entire way. So an interesting development is that Casey has gone and traded his uh, PKM for an AK. I'm pretty sure he's run out of ammo at possibly the worst uh, time imaginable. Um, as Nielsen uh, charges into the compound, he's the first Blue Four uh, operative to push in past that exterior wall. Actually, that's um, Paradise no, did it first. He did, but he he Nielsen just shut up Paradise and he just threw a grenade at him. Excalibur staring at Paradise, and, and Excalibur the, just <laughs> shoots up with his handgun. I think Paradise was out. Uh, no, excuse me, Excalibur was out of ammo or something. Nearest is now in the wooden hut looking at Paradise. No, he, he's not gonna turn around! Paradise. Wait, hold up! Oh, there no, he just oh, turned around, he's popping a grenade instead! Come on! Someone has to turn around! This, this is silly. This sucks, dude. Situational sucks. awareness. It just shows you the level of fog of war you get. I'm really surprised Independent pushed off that position when they had the advantage. They had Blue Four boxed in. They just had to keep stalling. But now Blue Four's gotten their foot in the door. And it's going to be up to these few Green Four guys that are still up to just take out as many dudes as they can. Unfortunately, Casey gets shot. Yeah, uh, Excalibur. Gets shot. Excalibur's still up. Nearest yep. is still up. Nearest is trying to hit a few guys uh, on the building across. We've got some machine gun fire going around, but... Oh, hi, why did you peek that? Oh, Pure Paradise, come on, dude. Pure Paradise is closing in on Excalibur. He's got him cornered. Excalibur's reloading, but he's going to get that mag in. And oh, unfortunately, he goes no. down. No, no pick is advantage for you today, Pure Paradise. I'm sorry. I don't think Paradise should have pushed in. I think he should have let his guys handle it. That marksman rifle would have given him a significant advantage for Terminal 2. And now uh, Arcor is bringing up additional reinforcements in that MRAP. Uh, I think they were going to try to bait Blue 4 in and now get, take him out close with the MRAP. That would be a very good call. You also got three independent guys to the left of that MRAP right now. They might push up with it. Oh, God, two guys crossing in the open. Somehow T5 surviving. T5 base spots Excalibur's barrel of his AK from across the courtyard, but isn't able to actually do much damage, if any. Um, so uh, Excalibur no pushing way. up, firing rounds across, but he's using flare rounds. He's not using his HE. Anderson snipes oh. the gunner of the MRAP. Oh, oh that's, a, that's a weird lighting effect. They honestly got to be mobile with that. Uh, Test the waters. If it doesn't get 18, then just start running people over, you know? 
Yeah, I mean... I'm surprised. By the way, Blue Four is down to seven guys. Yeah, that's not surprising. Oh, now six. Yeah, Nairus got yeah. a kill. Nairus gets another. And goes for execution, but it's not needed. T5 Bay. Uh, Excalibur goes execution. down. Uh, yep, yep, just killed. Um, T5 Bay got him. And Nairus now pushing into the center of the compound because no one's gotten the hack just yet. And independent ditching that MRAP. They're it's playing this noting, super cautious. It's worth noting, if you look at Nerys, because you see the little scoreboard below his name, the scoreboard is saying he has nine kills. He is eligible You're for kidding. a helicopter. He is eligible for an attack helicopter uh, to be called <laughs> in the AO. He does you have see, nine kills, not damn. The, uh, with the scripting of this, with the new Ace Medical, that might not be accurate either. Uh, there could be more because uh, it, the Try to pick up that machine gun that had no ammo for it. Down, uh, when somebody goes down and then bleeds out, it just counts uh, kills within a certain amount of time. So that, in theory, could possibly be higher. Hmm. By the way, yeah, Anderson right. is suppressing down the street, preventing the independent QRF from coming in. So Nirsk is pretty much on his own, but I think he's, um, no, he's watching the doorway. Oh. He does have a charge next to him, though, so he might be trying oh. to bait it. So uh, the AMRAP did come down the MSR, and there is a dead Greenfort dude in the turret. Misu is getting in it now, and he looks, he's probably going to drive it away. But, um, yeah, that, um... So that bulletproof glass is uh, protecting him. It's because Anderson shot the gunner out. He's yeah, trying to get more uh, shit, uh, shots on that window to that. possibly break it. And there's the hack and, going yeah. on. Uh, Nirsk still holding that corner. Uh, and now he's trying However, to peek out the window as well. We only have about 17 and a half minutes left in this mission. Um, I mean, obviously with the numbers disadvantaged, Blue 4 probably uh, wasn't going to be winning this for, you know, uh, most... Uh, Except for the most uh, radical expectations, but um, uh, they're doing yeah, they're to something. Nearest takes down another. Nearest takes down Nielsen in the doorway. Still alive, mm -hmm. but still. By the um, way, the TSB we... Finns from Scandi Recon finally getting out of that apartment and uh, coming back in to be just additional backup here. Uh, but number advantage definitely favoring independent at this rate, uh, especially with uh, Nearest getting in a fight Ooh. with Bay. Neither of them are able to confer, uh, get the kill there. Nerys gets a little torn up. I'm not sure on how how well Bay is looking. Yeah, but he's quick to be mobile here. And he's firing a few shots on Bay. Again, they I... exchange fire. Nerys goes to the mag change, but he must be low on ammo. This no, he's down. Bay, Bay had him. Oh. Nuke run. Probably denied. heard that magazine change at that range and decided that was a good time to push mm -hmm. out. And they're actually Ramirez is down. Ooh, there was a USD dish come, uh, on the southwest side of that compound that I just noticed. Um, blue four. I mean, there goes the terminal hack, and it's gonna blow up here in a second. Yeah, you can hear it counting off, but I think it's gonna the explosion is gonna stay contained in that zone. Meanwhile, Ramirez woke back up, and yeah, there goes the, the explosion. Bunker. The buildings around it stay pretty alive. Nielsen's still down Bunker by took that a bit of damage. And I'd be concerned if Green Force still wants to mount an offensive up here. And if you look at the MRAP, the one person, or there's two people inside it, one Bay of them is just on kind of sitting in the passenger seat with that busted out windshield. Uh, not That's the not best smart. Position to be in. No, not the best position to be in. But they pulled that MRAP back enough to uh, be defensive here. But independent, they've got 15 minutes remaining. Count 20 seconds from now. They just have to play it defensive, and they should be okay. I mean, Victor's here, down, but go ahead. From here, they all they have to do is limit uh, Blue Four's routes of approach. It, it's just keeping those MSRs clear and keeping any type of uh, low ground, uh, keeping eyes on that is just going to completely just a 15 minute keep warning. Blue Four bottled. And honestly, with the numbers here. It's it's going to be damn near impossible for Blue Four to try and pull this one out. Even if they did take that uh, uh, Dishkin UAZ, it's I'm pretty sure this is all she wrote. 
Yeah, we're seeing uh, with that second terminal location. It's inside uh, one of the classic construction site buildings. Multiple floors, lots of angles, lots of close quarter combat. Not something you want to go into with a numbers disadvantage because there's just so many angles that they could possibly be in. You make one mistake, or even if you don't make any mistakes, they could still whittle you down. Finn's, by the oh, way, crewing the yeah, other Dishka. Yeah. They're going in with their beautiful Scandi Recon emblem on the side of it, and they're going to be watching... Oh, well, he gets out, but... They're they dismounting there. I, I would have loved to see them just do a Hail Mary and push in. That I mean, incredible. I mean, with, with the numbers here, I'm going to count up uh, independent real quick. We have a medic working on a downed guy. He's picked him up and is starting to move, so probably getting blood in him. But uh, we've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So basically, Blue Four needs to get a two to one kill ratio here. Uh, they do not have a medic alive, though, so there's no guarantee that they'll be able to get the uh, down guy up, unfortunately. So yeah, he just might be SOL. Them. They got a, 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 if I can not hit my night vision key, um, we can see <laughs> that there are five people still up and they're trying to bring up Nielsen. Uh, he's been down for a while, but they're working on him. Warwick, can you give us a bit of uh, insight on, oh, he wakes back up now that I say up. that, but. It, uh, well, so th the biggest issue is with nice. this medical system, uh, if, if a patient has lost too much blood, uh, they're not going to be able to do anything because mm -hmm. they don't actually, the way the scripting works, only medics and combat lifesavers are going to be able to actually provide patients with a blood transfusion. So that's very surprising. They were able to get him back up. I, mm -hmm. I wonder why that is. As I keep hitting my fucking night. Well, <laughs> one, uh, no, they, uh, I'm, so, I'm sorry. There is a blue four uh, medic, Nielsen. Oh wait, no, M Nielsen was the medic. What? I, yeah. No, so confused. with I, the uh, with the uh, scripts changed around for F and F. Uh, you do have a higher chance of going up if you get treated and stabilized. Uh, providing Epi and doing CPR uh, does it, CPR works a little differently in uh, F and F because it provides additional opportunity. Yeah, you got quite a few. Wake up. Uh, you're at like nine or ten so kills by the end of it. Probably just a combination but of all the right medical treatments. It's now eleven to right six. Uh, he was a, they were actually able to twelve to six up. now. Yeah, and uh, we have Lyris uh, now in your chat, Lyra. He's yep. asking how many did you get. Yeah, and, uh, I answered him. Um, he got like he 11 or 12. Him? Yep. Um, but it's still, it's 6 to 12 right now. Blue Four's got to get a 2 to 1 kill ratio, but Anderson did make that really good headshot off that MRAP with the CCO site. So I mean, honestly, I'm, 2 to 1, is it's better than what happened in Mission 1. Mission 1 was about a 3 to 1, so I'd say this is much better odds at clutch your kick at now well here's uh, the thing though independent is still fairly spread out and they have a guy all the way on the rear uh just doing recon indigo fox he's gonna try to uh coordinate how uh the players are gonna go but in all honesty actually no i do see uh independent they pushed a guy up on the left as well that's their marksman uh they got the marksman weapon again and um yeah, that could be very devastating if he catches them out but uh, just the buildings in the town itself are going to offer a lot of cover here for uh, Blue Four to move in without being harassed on the uh, ridge lines. However, looking up that obvious MSR is that 50 cal from that MRAP, so hopefully they'll see it in time. Now we're seeing some suppression on the left, yep. Eagle's a little bit pinned, but will that MRAP go back to spot him? He's now returning fire with his 249. That might just pull the MRAP's attention, but every kill counts right now. Oh, oh, uh, he, I'm oh, no, sorry, I thought he died, but no, he just turned in, Misa mm -hmm. turned in into the turret a little bit, protects his head. Still a little visible, but it's very much uh, protected when it's not in the... Uh, yeah, right Oh, When it's not turned out. Yes, you did a really good job in my like opinion. He's just, uh, doesn't even, look like he's trying to acquire targets look like he's just trying to make noise here just to draw that attention and that's a very uh, realistic strategy right now draw the attention somewhere else while a larger force flanks but now we're seeing that marksman Stathenberger. he's firing on anderson nielsen and bay um 
and, and with Coas and Bloof in that apartment building, that's two different avenues of fire that are both high up and have a uh, high, high advantage over that Bloof or element. Despite all this, the, the machine gun fire is not being effective. Uh, I've seen multiple times where the uh, MRAP and I think uh, Ploof in the apartment building, they've gotten good fire lines on the infantry but haven't been able to land any solid hits. So despite the suppression, uh, looks like they're pulling Eagle, uh, catching Eagle off guard again. He is now crawling into fire here, trying to get behind some bushes, but still it's anyone's game in my opinion. Anderson is able to get a bunch of hits down onto him. Anderson is prone in that compound right now. It Marksman's watching him though. Ooh, lots of fire coming down on my remainders right now. Looks like that was two machine gunners, um, as well as Nemesis on. Yeah, Nemesis and machine gunner. Ooh, someone and just went down behind Bay. I think that was Ramirez. Uh, but the marksman also just went down. So a trade yeah. there. Not what you really want to see for Blue for right now because they need to get oh, that two to one yeah. ratio. It is now yeah, five yeah. to eleven. Absolutely. Ramirez is actually still alive. I don't think he actually. He took a little bit it's, of damage. Yeah, it's whoever he, was next to T five Bay. Um, I thought it was Ramirez, but Ramirez is doing a wide uh, flank. Gets caught in the open by two machine guns. He's dead. Oh no. He was at that same angle. Why did he try to attack I, that angle? Well, I don't know why we're seeing infantry. Position. Yeah, they should not be running out in the open right now. They should know that there is a numbers advantage. You got Flying Finn also on the right flank. Uh, yeah, he's shooting at nothing. He's trying to. I think, no, he's shooting at Ramirez's side. position, unknown that he's down, because I think Independent doesn't have the best lines of communication. But true, that true, suppression true. is at least, um, you know, it's just showing the amount of fire that Blue 4 has to deal with here. Yeah, with an MRAP and one, uh, or an MRAP and a UAZ dishcom, uh, it is a lot of just, it, they make one mistake and they are dead. Seven and a half minutes remaining. I don't think Blue 4 is going to pull out of this. Uh, they are too farly spread out. Uh, Independence just watching all the sight lines very, very well. Jaeger caught in the open, getting hit by a machine gun. Manages to pull through without taking a shot from the looks of it. I'm completely astounded that uh, First Lieutenant Anderson is still alive right now. Yeah. He's, he has been getting peppered by uh, Ploof and Koak for two minutes now. Even if Blue Four starts getting some serious kills on this line, uh, they still have five guys in the uh, complex uh, that they have to get the hack on. So I, I just yeah. don't see it. They're going to lose the time. Oh, Nemesis gets They stoned. get Nemesis in the head right there. He could wake back up, though. So very he good call. Will. But yeah, it's... Uh, that That's what they need to do. They need to soften this up as best they can. I don't know if they have any M203s or anything. I think I just heard one go off, but... Um, they need to utilize what they have against this uh, fortified compound because just numbers and bullets isn't going to Misu has it. the gun turned right on where Anderson is. Anderson might get the headshot. No. Oh, oh there goes Anderson. No. Misu hit the ripped. fence. Mm -hmm. uh, Misu actually hit the fence, and that should have been Anderson's cue to leave, but he couldn't. Uh, I don't think he picked up on it in time, so. No, no. And uh, yeah, me neither. But uh, Bay goes down as well. And Nemesis woke back up, by the way. Bay, yep, down. Uh, it's up to Eagle and Jaeger, but at this rate, the ratio is too high. I, I think no, this is, it's safe no. to call GG here. Yeah, I agree. And it, it, it comes down to... Bay wakes back up. To, that is surprising. However, I think the outcome will still be the same. And like I said, it, it it's the fact that the attacking team was too aggressive with their assets whether it's an MI-24 or an MRAP, it, being too aggressive with it and leaving yourself exposed is going to get you fucking killed. See, I, I would agree, but looking back at that other MRAP, that shot was a 1, 2, 3, 4, it was about a 600 meter shot on that other Seriously? MRAP. Seriously? Yeah. Uh, if they hit it from the um, HQ building, it might be a little less actually, but about one, two, three, about, yeah, about a 500 meter shot still. So even was then, that was impressive to high hell. It, was it with, uh, I assume it wasn't with the javelin. With the, no, no, it was with an RPG. 
RPG that's... seven with no sight, and it killed both the crew and disabled the MRAP. Yeah. yeah, that is impressive because that's basically on the cusp of its effective range. Mm -hmm. Especially without a scope. So like, Bay ew, swinging ew, around. Ew, Sorry to cut you off. Uh, he just got hit by the uh, fifty, but he is still alive, just taking a lot of punishment here. Go ahead. I mean, that was about it. Just uh, <laughs> even with a scope, the RPG seven has a fairly limited range, but without a scope, that just makes it even worse. But we're hearing a lot of fire coming in now. Last three, Blue Force still alive. You have Misu still up in the MRAP, Poas and Snow I watching the flanks of the north I, and I south of uh, Misu, respectively. Finn's still driving around um, on Pervitine or something, um, as we have five people in the construction site. Oh, um, where'd Mitsu go? Did Mitsu die? Because I don't. I... He just died. Misu yeah. just died. Yeah. He got shot in the head by Bay. Very good shot. Because, yeah, those 762 rifles, you mentioned them earlier. I mean, Three and a half and minutes. Obviously, they're more powerful than five, five, six. So that the fact that everyone has seven, six, two means that uh, actually no, Bay has an M two hundred three M sixteen. And so limited body armor, really, mind you. Yeah, no body armor, but whole, but they still have the helmets. So that's uh, I don't fucking know, dude. I just I don't I just work here, dude. Hmm. But it's, it's three and a half minutes. Sorry, go ahead, work. No, I was just going to say, I think it's just bad luck. Anybody that's been in that uh, MRAP turret mm -hmm. has uh, gotten domed. <laughs> yeah, everyone so far who has gotten in the MRAP has died. So maybe it's best that Green Fort leave it the fuck alone for the time being. Koek has a good angle on this MSR. Bay just slaughtered another uh, uh, independent guy. Uh, if That's going to pull Koak to the left to try to find Bay. But now Jaeger could potentially make it up to uh, that position. But he's and got four guns training on him. Yeah, we're just about back to two that, and a half um, minutes. We're just about back to that two to one ratio, and they're gonna need to pick up the pace. They they should be seeing that uh, time remaining. Uh, yeah, here's lining a shot up, hitting Vector. Uh, unfortunately, doesn't get the kill shot, but gets a few bullets in. That's gonna make him move. But that's gonna drop fire from Nemesis, and he gets hit. And all uh, they need is to suppress because let's see. Yep. Two minute warning going off in 10 seconds. Bay's still back here. He's looting stuff from uh, Anderson's body. Eagle just further back. Eagle's useless. He's crippled in the legs. So he's pretty much out of action. Um, oh, they threw three days at Jaeger's position and he is dead. Oh, damn. Each nade, a bit of shrapnel caught him. Yep. Mm -hmm. Death by a thousand cuts. And that's going to leave T5 Bay and Eagle. Eagle's way That's pretty much out GG. There, T5 Bay. Like, they're way far out. They're not going to get there anywhere close to time as we're coming up on uh, about 90 seconds remaining. Bay just put a grenadier round in the uh, apartment building Koak was in, almost killing him. But now Bay is going to advance on it, possibly try to kill anyone who's in there. And Jaeger woke back up. He's trying to move. Oh. But Finn has a perfect position with that 50 cal. A beautiful keyhole there. Got a few shots on Jaeger. Meanwhile, Bay takes uh, gets a few shots there. He's trying to jump into the apartment building. Unfortunately, oh went a little too far oh, to the left, no, and crippled. Finn was able to pretty much cripple him. Jaeger trying to line up some shots here, get any kills Six he can. Remaining. One minute remaining. Oh, and there comes Goas, and he gets taken out. I, I don't Holy know crap. And that's kill number seven for Bay. RPG just went on Jaeger. Uh, Might have crippled him, actually. Another grenade goes out. He knocks Jaeger out. Uh, both blue four guys are crippled at this point. Eagle's crippled, so I'm not counting him. But yeah, I, I think it's literally just going to be GG to time. But if we gave blue four some more time oh, here. And there goes Bay. Bay is. Uh, Bay understands. <laughs> Bay he can't even kill himself, Bay. right? He's just that OP. Oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> Eight just took kills, him two grenades. Eight kills, and that'll be it. Eagle is uh, going to try and get into an apartment building, try and find some civilian clothes, and uh, mm -hmm. live a second life <laughs> as a uh, Turner Russian. Yeah, try and live as a Turner Russian uh, farmer, maybe a market uh, salesman. He's just trying like to that. suppress stuff, but that is it. That is, uh, that's time. It's one hour 15, and there it goes. Has been reached. I don't know. So Nearisk was uh, Op 4's killing machine. Uh, Bay was definitely Blue 4's, but Anderson also got a few key kills there.
Um, I guess Independent just understood that they could wait it out, because I, I don't understand why they pulled out of that, um, big U position they had on Blue Force, especially when they had two guys in the town of Muttons to uh, watch for any wide flanks, as well as they had the MRAP, so I guess they were just gonna try to give Blue Force a chance to gull them in, so it could be at least a little more interesting. <laughs> I, Meanwhile, I, I Helios has... That Helio yeah, Helios has an M16, or an M4, rather. Ha! <laughs> Good old gun switch how, to confuse but... PID. I suppose so. And Blue Four has been eliminated. So it was it was a close call there, but a lot closer than the first mission, but mm -hmm. still very much just yeah. I, yeah Blue I, Four was just at a significant disadvantage when they lost both MRAPs. Uh, Independent, even though they stole the second one, it turned into a bit of a death trap. But. Just losing that force multiplier kind of put the nail in the coffin for him. So I believe we're going to yeah. go up here the brief and uh, we'll get into the third and final round for tonight. It's going to be on Sarani. Let's, uh, let's give him a warm welcome, shall we? I was the first was fucking first casualty. casualty. Okay. All right. We have to vote upon the break, break. Let's go ahead and uh, get numbers from group leaders. We're, we're a little late. So, what'd you guys think about that? I thought that was a very good round, and we still have round three. So, hope you're staying with me. I'm gonna check on my pudding here. Well, it needs about one or two more minutes, but that is uh, sealed off pretty well. So, see how things go. So, let's see. Attack, defend, op for independent. 25% uh, numbers advantage for Op4. Op4 is going to get another MI24. Uh, it looks like they don't have a limitation on rockets compared to round one, so we'll see what cast armament they get. Um, armament they get, excuse me. They also get the BTR-80 and quick. six attack boats, so it's going to be a naval invasion. Meanwhile, Independent get a, um, a Gaz with the ZU-23 on it and a ZSU, basically a Shilka. So that's to pretty much counter the All effects right. of the MI-24. Let's get... But I doubt they're going the to um, have AGMs on, on that MI-24. I agree, what's that? that Let's was get a, second definitely MRB an interesting watch. on N4. Let's get the CSC on Op4. Hey, Russ, let's leave that marksman open unless we get leadership. Do you mind if I take the team leader? Uh, ch -ch -ch yeah, go for it. Let's get 242 on N4, option for leadership. Can I get an admin slot, Drake? Oh. Dean, can I have that squad leader slot for Drake? Drake, you want me to take Alpha 2's auto? Send in GOAT Team 6 now. Am still sub ed? Have not watched around for a year. Hey, sorry, Drake. Really no, no, you're good. It you're appears fine. you are mine. Thanks for the 22 month resub, of my man. I hope you keep enjoying the operations and I Let's hope you're gonna get... kick out of the shoutcast. Centaur on N4. For paying for my education, yeah, right? Got six and a half grand left on the Let's last get semester. One RW on Op4. Nice. We do a lot of crazy shit here. Uh, comrade, I've seen a mix of casual and um, milsims. We've got AA FK, on KD, and XX, and. Just a lot of groups I don't recognize. Scandi Recon also Let's recently joined, so that's a fine fin nemesis Yander. Kagan and I'm debating getting a TSB section One here, but I gotta talk it out with um Please slot. 
sniper uh, and, and um, again, you know because we have an op at eight uh, and that would know, contest with people is. so uh, dips we'll have to see centaur you all are on uh in four any individual players are on in four i know what's that but they have they literally have their own group called standy recon so that's what they're quote unquote representing yeah, at least they're not putty. Uh, TWS, you all can go op for. All right, Pierce, 60 seconds on the clock. Get your platoon together quick, quick, quick. Uh, if any loose players could go down and take uh, machine guns, so bravo, guys, if you could take a, a machine gun team, Delta 3, that'd be great. And uh, we need a gunner for the MI-24. I got it. That would be coming yeah. back. Make sure those MGs change their comms so that they can talk to PL. Nice. Um... I think that's uh, that's everything. Yeah, that's good. All right, so we Alrighty. have uh, Indigo. Sixty seconds on the clock. Get your platoon together. An op four helicopter, uh, Matt team, which is their A two. I'll be curious to see what they get for that. Uh, we've got one, two MG teams, and then the rest are in infantry squads. Meanwhile, Indigo Fox is going to be uh, ground command for independent. Pierce is going to be op four commander. But digression aside. Uh, Op 4 isn't going to come in with a marksman, but independent you get is. It Stand by. Mostly infantry set up here, uh, and then three guys dedicated Bravo to that one. DSU. You get your lat up into combat engineer Alpha 1. Uh, so they're not going to. Actually, someone filled it. Never mind. Actually, they don't have any support uh, assets uh, they can take. Four Interesting. Is so it's just infantry and the ZSU, and then they'll probably uh, crew that gas. Adam, take TO on F2. All righty, let's push the map screen. I see it's a theme with the loading here. I need to be. Well, pee. no, a megabyte. This is gonna kill my router. What is no, seven hundred and fourteen times TSU. two? Quick. Uh, 1,428. <laughs> Night Owl. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is Night Owl's mission? Yes. Oh, I love I've been looking forward to this. Dr. Continent. Okay, looks like we're ready. Night Owl, go ahead and uh, give a quick brief. Dr. Continent's secret lair. Intel has revealed that the evil Dr. Continent is setting up base on Zaharani near an old concrete mill. It's up to Op4 to take down his operation before his evil can take root. This is a destroy the cache mission. There are two caches. Do not have to be destroyed in any order. Um, independent has a teleporter, so they can go between the two different cache points. Independent has a gas 66 with a ZU-23, pretty much a car with a gun, as well as an anti-air ZSU. Op 4 features an attack helicopter, an APC, as well as six assault boats. Time limit is normal, 60 minutes. And yes. Any questions from our platoon leaders? Yes, why are the assault boats? This should be pretty obvious. Uh, 
Are you sure? Who's asking? Independent or Opfo? Uh, yeah, because... Opfo. Opfo. We'll, we'll see. Trust me, Pierce. It's okay. <laughs> I just had some questions. Uh, That's all. Oh god, are they land Question boats? from Infor. Um, hmm. Can the armed helicopter, like, target vehicles, can they pick it out of the middle of a forest if it's hiding? By Arma Lakon? I'm not sure about the lock on. It's the same helicopter we had last what mission, so do that what you will. Yeah, so it, it's the MI-24 that only has a gun. It's the, uh, the V, uh, version of it. But he has the gun gun, gotcha. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna... No. Alright, cool. No, it, it doesn't... Like that. Your gun is a sexual... is... <laughs> oh yeah, so Night Owl, who uh, just gave the introduction, he has such a nice voice. Through Ace or through scroll wheel. I wish my voice was like that. The gun should be through Skull Wheel. The teleporter through Skull Wheel? Oh, oh, that should be Ace. For in four. Ace, okay, got it. <laughs> right over here, uh, Alrighty. Good luck. Have fun. Final round of FNF starts right now. Alright. I'm curious, but first I gotta tab out, go back to the casting couch room. All right, Barb, we got 15 minutes, but I need to see what these boats look like and what this helicopter looks like. So give me yeah. a hot second. Um, uh, well, the helicopter is... Oh, what the fuck? Okay, so the helicopter is the same MR-24 from the first mission. Nose cannon, that is 12.7, and uh, nothing, yep. no pylons or anything. BTRs, 80 gases, but then, yeah, these assault boats, which are, curiously enough, not in the water. I, I guess they're gonna be teleported, maybe up to the uh, the airstrip. I I don't get it, <laughs> but I guess we'll see what happens. Maybe or you know, Puerto de Porotas, something like that. But like, I am very confused. Also, quick note: that BTR eighty is not gonna be the best choice for this because it's gonna have to go uphill eventually, and it's very easy to get choke pointed here because it's not gonna be able to get up these massive hills, and that choke oh, yeah. point can easily just stomp it. That is a yeah, like you said, a massive hill, very obvious choke point with more than a few. Uh, Holy crap! Uh, positions. I mean, just look how high those mountains get. You can hide anywhere on there and not only see the BTR coming, but be able to just dick on it as soon as it passes through the pass. It's um, also independent. They've oh, got a lot of stuff. Oh, they got a shit ton of quad oh, bikes. They got the gas. They have they a have, transport truck. Like they've got, and is this even a, fair? A, this is, a, they have a, what, a ZU-23 truck. They have a, a Shilka. They have, I mean, I doubt the radar is actually connected to anything, but like, it, it this is a base this is meant to be i okay well hold on. let's take a look right at op for his kit and if they have a decent amount of at like rpg 26s and rpg 7s then maybe i'm seeing two rpg 7s looks like every uh, squad that got deployed uh, has an rpg 7 but i'm not seeing any shoulder rpg 33s so they're gonna have to be very defensive about that because the mi-24 only has its uh gatling so uh yeah. hold up we do have the uh the titan uh part of the mat team yep i am looking for him he's next to the boats also i'm gonna get my pudding go get your pudding i'll keep talking in the meantime uh, uh, no i have it in my fridge right here let me tell you something oh yeah that's perfect all right i'm gonna eat that while we're doing this but yeah, pudding's pudding yeah. Yeah, eat my pudding. I mean, you're pudding. What? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, what's that? Um, so the the caveat with that is, is the radar actually hooked up to anything, or is it just a set piece? I think it's just for that, show, but the, I think it's just the Shilka well. will have her own radar. Also, Russian's got some pretty nasty body armor going. Uh, I'm trying to get some eyes on some independent dudes. Uh, they just teleported the, the, back. Remember that the... Um, the, uh, the convicts and everything. Um, yep, yep. N4 does have some body armor this but, time, yeah. and so they, they should be evened out. Mm -hmm. um, Patriot was saying, uh, and the as we were the, the second round was winding down, that um, even with those chest rigs that don't have any armor, they still have armor because of the convicts. Gotcha. I don't know. Uh, I, I, I mean, I'd like to think so, because otherwise that just seems really imbalanced, but I don't know. Uh, but yeah, we're seeing... 
uh, three RPGs for Red Four plus the Titan. Um, so that's a, I mean, that's a decent amount of AT um, versus, you know, a Shulka and a Gaz. That Gaz can obviously be taken out by just small arms fire, but the Shulka will need some attention as far as the AT. Uh, Green Four Platoon HQ is running around the top of the, or the, the mountain area with the, um, uh, the huge ass base. I mean, there's mm -hmm. three battle towers here. There are, you know, just pockets of Hesco's. Like, Endor doesn't need, really need to build too many extra defenses. They, no, have... they, they got it set, to be honest. I think Seriously. I think Op 4 has already made a mistake by not getting that marksman slot. You already have Stray Dog moving to the southernmost part of his uh, space that he can go for pre-setup time. Uh, and he does have a, uh, I think that was an SVD with a scope. I'm going to look at it again. Probably, yep. yeah. So, really, like, with how open this map is and how much terrain there is, he could go up somewhere. He wouldn't even have to fire as long as he gets intel down. Uh, what I would like to see is um, the gas with the ZU go somewhere high, but angle the gun down. Maybe the uh, northwestern ridge line over here. Uh, this could just be a very nasty slaughter oh, kind of like if they angle things. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. if, he's able, if he goes up that road and just kind of mountain goats his way over yeah, what, what he would have to be... do Ooh. is he would have to go along the northern coast because I did this in an op a few weeks ago uh, go around the northern coast climb up the uh, less steep side of the hill he could get up here in 5 to 10 minutes but while that's going on op 4 would just be deploying especially if they uh, in company with that BTR 80 it's going to take him a while to get there but with the freaking auto cannons, man, I just don't see this being fair. I thought the uh, 24 would have like rocket pods or something, but two auto yeah, cannons I, is I, very I, dangerous. I would have, I, I would have much more. Pre, uh, my, blah, 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 words are hard, but having those uh, 9K whatever um, ATGMs on the mm -hmm. high would have made this a much fairer fight. Oh, I don't think the Hind least... needed ATGMs. I think it just needed rocket pods, because what this does is it's going to put, uh, put a lot of reliance on Op4's mat team, but if they get caught out of the open early on, uh, that's going to pretty much seal the coffin for Op4. So we'll just have to see how they deploy. Yeah, and th I mean, if this is a particularly hard nut to crack, but given the lessons learned with all for, um, the first two missions, I would hope that uh, the attacking team would be a little bit more conservative with their assets. Mm -hmm. Maybe having the infantry, you know, go squish a little bit more, but with those ZUs, it's just like, I, I just don't know, man. That that throws everything out of the question. Though I do love this setup as far as, um, like, yeah, this is uh, from Night Owl. Night Owl obviously put a lot of uh, detail mm -hmm. into this, um, but I just don't know if he... Uh, put a ton of consideration for the actual players in it um we'll, we'll it's yet to be seen i i don't want to you know judge a book by its cover yeah i'm very excited to see i mean and how it plays if, out. if i were to critique one thing i think op 4 could be a little closer because that btr 80 if they decide to use it just looking at its route it is mostly gonna be going flat and uphill and that thing does not have good mobility uh, maybe Spawn uh, could have been moved chunky. up to the town of um, Eponia uh, just to bring it closer. But what what I'm really seeing here is this gives Independent a lot of room to really set up this choke point ambush. And in my yeah. opinion, that's what they need to capitalize on. If they get that um, ZU gas somewhere to just overwatch that position, it could be really, really nasty. But the obvious counter would be the MI-24 deploying... Um, guys in different positions i'm thinking uh the forested areas around uh 151 160 or uh maybe as far as 133 175 uh so yeah, independent a... doesn't even get uh audio contact but we'll have to see go ahead we'll have to see yeah because i mean so it's a bit of a i don't even know how to describe it but it's almost i almost want to see up for drive up the middle because there's the obvious it's the obvious choke point but it's almost a mind game in that you have um three uh, from what i can see at least from looking at the map three potential 
uh, alternate routes from Op4. Um, you have the kind of slightly, fl slightly flatter uh, part of the mountain at 130161. What the heck um, are these boats for? Uh, but then you also have the northern part at like 131170 and going around the far north uh, kind of where that e that Z uh, gas ZU 232 would just wreak havoc that we were talking about but um and also yeah like you said the south southeastern part of it and just going around that way but I almost want it I would love it if N4 was like okay we'll have a couple guys watching it but they're not gonna. They're, there's no way I'm they they're gonna go airlift. through the mountain pass, right? Like they they couldn't just they they wouldn't just fucking do that, right? Let's let's spread our defenses out somewhere else. So what's that's and pointing then, out? Um, sorry, go ahead, go ahead. I, I thought you were done. Well, th th that's about it. Just like I'd love to see out for kind of mind game in for mm -hmm. into just taking the obvious route. So. What do you think these boats are for? What's that's thinking? Maybe they could use the MI-24 to tow one. Uh, each one of those boats can fit five people, but I, I think that's just a joke. Uh, maybe, but they uh, Night Owl, in the brief, he was like, D don't worry, their use will be apparent. And it's like, okay, yeah, but... Well, you got to okay. consider, like, all of this, like, the airbase on the top right has been included in the play zone. I, I'm trying to figure out why there's so much space here. Because yeah, normally, okay. with other rounds, we've been seeing, um, you know, the space is really confined, but here there's just so much open. I I don't know. Like, maybe Op4 can choose where they deploy these boats so they can give them a Possibly. wide berth. That's why the I, area is so big, but I, I, I've noticed I don't know. at both bases uh, that there is a... You know, uh, stand. Uh, you know, freestanding map of Sarani. I wonder if mm -hmm. that's been coded as a kind of interface, like we saw with the uh, the mission from last week that mm -hmm. had that same kind of logistical uh, importance. But if it doesn't, I mean, your options for the boats are either you go up to the north northwest and you deploy in the bay and go around the the cape to the north, or you go east to uh, Masbete and you drive up from there but either way it's like where where do you even land and there's a couple good places but it's like you're still walking a good click till you reach the ao i i am i'm very uh, i don't want to think that some things weren't thought through but i can't think of anything else i, really. I think we'll see it play out but honestly if you look on the coast there are a lot of spots where they could bring boats um i'm just again I, I, well i guess we'll see it when it happens but you know no one's crewing those boats right now i don't even see anyone taking the btr 80 and their shoes i probably wouldn't take that either it's just gonna take way too long to get up there uh i would yeah. probably just um if I was Op4 Command, I would try to get a majority of my units in the MIA and deploy them. I would probably uh, use either the MI, I called it MIA, MI24 to either deploy my um, Titan guy up on a ridge, or better yet, uh, I'd have him get in a gas because the gas can. Lira, yep. Lira, Lira. The, the island to the northeast, go to mm -hmm. the southeast coast uh, of that island. Keck. I okay. This is a fucking top keck moment for two things. Two things. One, the ship's hull is clipping into the island. Two, Double there keck. are no armaments on that boat. There is no point for that boat to be there other than just ambiance. Okay, so what what does that have to do with op four? I don't I I, I don't know, <laughs> but it's there. I okay, know. it's there. Got it. Got it. Uh, that, that's about it, dude. I thought, I thought that was like their I'm teleport for their boat. I don't know. I maybe that's where the boats straws. go. May I don't know. Who knows? Maybe. We'll, we'll see. Know. Maybe we'll see maybe that's the boat deployment. Two but anyway, we'll as I was saying, I would put my AT guy on this giant screw all hill. Can you adjust your render distance? Or excuse me, your view distance uh, with... Um, is there any mod to do that while they're in game maybe or are they limited? Ship? Uh, I mean, there's the ace, you know, one mm -hmm. you know, view distance limiter. So I would honestly uh, put my AT guy on Pico de Perez with his Titan, and I would try to snipe that Shilka or the Gaz. 
yeah, uh, with the ZU gun. Distance, it's about four clicks, and that's a lot more. That's a lot better. As far yeah. As, uh, um, yeah. There's a lot. Pump of mine up, actually. Oh yeah, pump it up, buddy. Um, <laughs> but there's a lot of you know just peaks and cliffs that you, you can set that Titan onto, and be a I mean absolute hunter killer team from any of these mountain ranges you get a good thermal signature and lock on mm -hmm. that's that's it for the shoka and if he has a second missile great that's the gas he does have well. an assistant so i would assume he has a second missile yeah and, and even if so for some reason it scuffs it uh, or you, you know the, what's important for that titan gunner is to take out the shoka uh, otherwise, taking out the Gaz, it's going to be tough for infantry to do it, but it's possible. Although, yeah, they are using it. You have Martin and... I, I think it's just Martin in there. We have Farks, Arcor, and Helios in the uh, crew for the Shoka. And... Uh, I, I thought Helios was about to get run over by the Shoka. That would have been hmm. hilarious. So what's that's calling me out and saying my plan is obvious... Uh, but just to counter his statement, I'm I got a wide shot of this massive ridge line here. They could put the Titan guy anywhere over. That's why I also said you could also put him in a gas and just have him maneuver around. Because all he needs is five seconds to lock that um lock the Shilker, the gas, and once he lets it go, because it's uh it uses RHS javelin settings for ace, uh there's pretty much no dodging that unless uh, I am seeing that there is a dome on the uh, top hill base yeah. where that Shilka yeah. is. They could potentially open the big gate on the left, though it is a little bit in the ground, so I'm not sure it's openable. But if they could detect the missile coming in, they could pull into that dome and potentially save it. That requires a lot of coordination, and I don't think we're going to see something that advanced for this. No, I don't think so either. However, as we have this mission starting, um while the force is set out, I want to bring your attention to that dome. I want you to fly into that dome and tell me what you see. There's a temple in there. Yeah. With a fire and four pumpkin. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, it's one of it's it's it it's. <clears throat> I don't want to say it, but it, it is what it is. Um, so this will be very interesting to see how this plays out, considering uh, a number of things. Uh, Rake and Koas are in the Mi-24. They don't have any infantry in it. No, they, I saw a third name in there. Uh, I think our settings are glitched because I'm not seeing names here. Uh, so they're going to probably deploy a team way to the north. Meanwhile, the rest of the infantry have gotten in gases, and they are getting this platoon HQ that's going to take the death trap, a.k.a. BTR-80. And yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure the boats were just a troll. I thought that would have been really cool if they got like a teleport feature and could attack from the coast so we could get a really sexy pincer movement in here, but... I, I don't know. I don't know why there's so much area on this map. It throws me off a little bit. Me too. Uh, Platoon HQ is taking that BTR. Uh, I'm guessing they're just going to use it for the extra armor on top of maybe the extra fire about the boats, that's fair. I don't that? think they're going to be using it for My bad. Uh, a quote-unquote serious uh, mm -hmm. assault effort, but we'll see. Um, yeah, Nemesis doesn't much. Uh, Nato uh, has been having too much fun uh, building that, and I think that is exactly the case. He, had, he, he went a little overzealous. But um, Shoka is trying to climb the hill to the south of the uh, dome objective. Uh, ZU is cool. also being brought to the right side, possibly to be kept in reserve. I think the Shilka is going to watch the uh, approach to the north. And uh, the ZU is going to watch the south and their right flank. But we do have the 24 coming in now, possibly to deploy people on that ridge line so they can start getting eyes. And once that brings up, yeah, you can um, uh, cargo or sling load those uh, boats, but is it really worth the time and the effort to do that? I can't agree. I, I, I cannot say that it is. So 24 just tried to land but slid off the slope. Uh, even though they didn't have their uh, gear on, but now they're being exposed to Platoon HQ, and I'm not sure if Platoon HQ spotted them. Oh, come on, guys. Stick your head out. Uh, that is a negative. They are behind a rock, and yeah, there is no one way. One of them was looking out. in that direction, but he pulled back at the worst possible time. They're still not putting their heads out. They're too busy talking instead of watching. Speaking of doing things other than talking, how's your pudding? It's good, thank you. 
No problem. I'm glad it turned out well. So 24 now pulling away. Uh, one of them spots it. He's now fixated uh, on that. No. And he's not going to see the infantry on the right. So that is platoon yeah. HQ. So he can that then get the work out. Yeah, he can get the AA guns on it. But now everyone up here is going to be focusing on that 24 instead of the infantry. Oh. So that's going to give up for I'm, a little bit I'm of an advantage Mon's perspective. He's looking to the south southeast now. Oh, and he sees that he sees it. He sees that much 24. I don't know if he has the elevation to deal with it. Oh, he does. He's opening fire. Shots but going off, but at that range, he is unlikely to hit. Well, his rounds are just end. short. Yeah. But this is good. He's drawing the attention away from the infantry he just dropped off, so those infantry can get into a good position. I'm going to quickly check on them to see if they drop that Titan off. I am Shoka seeing Shoka is now D1. looking for the damage 24. Radar should have... Uh drawn them right into its position but so yeah, it looks like um mm -hmm. too far away so op4 so did it's coming in sorry go ahead yep so uh op4 reslotted to get their marksman uh they dropped the marksman and the titan guy off titan already being uh carried here uh but these guys are being deployed one of these dudes has a pretty nasty skyline uh for platoon hq but he's not uh going over there and yeah um they're pretty much baiting out where those ZU guns are so the Titan can maneuver and try to take it out. So very smart call for Op4 here to get these positions on Audible. So now Op4 can take its kill team that's deployed and uh, try to get a good position on it. Yeah, it's lucky that they don't have any guided AA because the distance that they're at, I mean, that's a good two mm -hmm. to three clicks out. And any AA, uh, you know, emplacement fire is going to be, uh, they're going to be lucky at best. But it, it comes down to, in that, if with that strategy of being able to discern between the Shilka and the ZU 23 from distance. Um, because, I mean, obviously it's the same gun, but Shilka has four Z and the truck has two. So being able to discern between the two and recognize that there are two in a given area versus just one uh might be a bit of a tall order it's yet to be seen but, so by the uh, way quick word of reference the titan team has spotted platoon hq's hill because they were skylining so they've gotten down they're watching with the thermal scope uh i don't think they're gonna fire at him though because that would just be a waste of a round even though i think the titan guy has an assistant to give him a few extra rockets what they need to do yeah. is um, just try to hunt those Vicks down. You're still hearing the uh, ZSU firing at the sh uh, the MI-24 from ways away, but that 24 is hovering, uh, not even trying to strafe left or right, so a lucky burst would take it out. And as they say, that looks like Hudson is starting to make it go forward a bit, but it's got to be a little more evasive because if the 20 excuse me if the uh, zu guns line up a good shot they could potentially take them out so any form of hovering is not gonna go well for op4 yeah i mean this definitely has not started out the way that i would have uh, exactly expected and we're yeah. seeing uh with green for platoon hq i mean they're looking at the mi24 as well but they still have no idea that Op4 is right there, though. Yeah, just across the way, only a few hundred meters away from their position, they have um, a Red Ford Delta element, which I believe includes the yeah includes the Titan. They're moving up on their position, or moving at least towards their position. And Give Me Your Milk has spotted at least one person on that ridge. Um, I believe that is Warwick, actually. That guys, right, Give Me Your Milk, Op4 or Green4. Give me your milk is op four. And yeah, so op four already four. spotted platoon HQ a few minutes ago. Oh, the they, Titan team did, did that. Okay, yeah, okay. but Titan, they're focusing on trying to knock that twenty four out. Uh, Independence committing way too many eyes to go look at it, and it's baiting them too hard. The Shilka now still backing itself up. It's gonna be completely exposed to a Titan if they pull it up. And I think if you pull up to, oh my gosh, it's down. The twenty four. The twenty four is down. That's why you don't down. hover. And I'm pretty sure it was the guys who did it. So like I said, that's that's disappointing. And I I don't know why they did the that. Third time tonight. The attacking 20. team has fucking 
just wasted. All he needed honestly, to do was just wasted. tilt the joystick left or right. I don't know why he hovered, because that, of Doesn't course, that's going to get you killed. So, unfortunately, that's going to make Platoon HQ now turn around, and they might now spot this attack coming up. And if they coordinate with their Shilka, that Shilka could then easily take out the uh, infantry if they cross over too much. I also noticed Stray Dog, he's uh, in a position of concealment right next to the ZSU, uh, pretty much just watching into the first compound. So he's going to let Op4 kind of envelop his position before opening up. Also, one yeah, of the pilots he's... survived, uh, Drake, and he's going to now swim it to shore. But <laughs> that's, that is so disappointing. But yeah, Op4, they're sending people up here. They might have spotted that one of these guys had a radio. Uh, but if they could knock out Platoon HQ early on, that could really help him. I'm just so disappointed that they lost that 24. I, I don't know. Uh, why, I mean, you know? I, you hope for so many good things. But yeah, um, Stray Dog uh, will be doing a more defensive thing. However, Patriot, he is the red for marksman. He's with this forward element that's going uh, pushing on to uh, Platoon HQ's position uh, for green four, that is. And let's see, so... They have a PKM and AK with a GP25 and just another AK. You know um, if there's a toggle to see names because I'm getting that glitch again. No, I, I really think it is uh, just depending on the mission maker. I don't know, mm -hmm. but it just... So yeah, Op4 hasn't spotted that Shilka on the left. Uh, and Independent still uh, not knowing that. Oh, oh hold up. This, oh, this... you see Independent's looking right down that hill. Yeah, this one Shilka. century, uh, this this is gonna be. Shilka's looking. There it goes. North, but they fire oh. at Platoon HQ, and they manage to drop the uh, MG sentry, yeah, and now they're moving up in his pause. I wonder if that Shilka is gonna be ordered to move his gun because Platoon HQ is right there. I would be yelling at that Shilka to suppress this position. Shilka's moving. I don't think it has the elevation based on its position. Platoon HQ, 3-1, to one, is going to get mowed down right here. And yep, there goes Platoon HQ really for Independent. Done. That's big. Yeah. That is big. Hey, Warwick. Um, yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Warwick, what, what was Warwick doing? Was he in that stupid uh, helicopter? He, he, was, he was the MG sentry. He was the MG sentry. Oh, oh yeah, no, no. <laughs> he got mowed. So we, uh, we weren't expecting the, anybody to come up from that high ground. We weren't expecting so, special Warwick, forces. you were you were speaking uh, with Platoon HQ, and if you just went a little bit off hard. the rock, yep, I can hear it. Uh, you would have seen the Mi-24 land that strike team that just took you out. So they they saw some of you skylining on the tippy tops of the rocks, and then they decided to maneuver on you. And up on that hill, they do have their Titan, and they did just take fire. Also, Op4 is on the ridge. Looks like they're firing down at the battle tower where three guys are in the uh, base here, but that Shilka firing again manages to someone. knock a dude out. That was the marksman. He that did slide off it, yeah. and take uh, some additional damage there, but Titan needs to do his thing because that Shilka's exposed and he needs to kill it. Yeah, I'm watching Rezmov. Swimming. He's kind of skirting around towards Patriot's position. He obviously didn't want to peek out. He's the, the Shilka's charging up for right now. And it is peppering that mountaintop position. I just watched the guy get chewed up, but he's still okay. That Titan needs to be deployed now. I think he I see him it. on the top of the hill. He's lining I'm up that shot. Victory. He has the, he has eyes on the Shilka. He's locking right now. Uh, but an RPG hits it. it. That was not the Titan. An RPG just wow. hits the Shilka and takes it out, leaving mm -hmm. that Titan for use for the, for the gas. So oh. honestly... These green four guys, they're going to dismount. I don't think they're coordinating with the other guys, though, because they're going to walk right on top of Op4. Oh oh they don't God. see each yes. other. Op4 is right here. Oh, oh my God. God. They're, they're literally back. back. No, the machine gun. What is this? What is this? <laughs> and green four dismounts. Go oh, down. my fucking God. Oh, my God. What was that? What uh, the I fuck mean, was that? At, at a glance, maybe, yeah, I don't know. Uniform confusion? So, so, uniform and equipment, kind of, but uh, uh, Green Force is using Woodland, M81, and Alpha is using That was DMR. just Miss PID right there. That was, yeah, that was it silly. Was rough on PID. Alpha, also, they there was... Out from an exploding tank. Yeah, right? Like... 
Uh, the BTR has actually made its way in. Oh my God. Uh, it's passed through the, that choke point. And yes, uh, yes, Upward did what I said. They did. They took the obvious route because they, they thought no way that they would actually defend against the obvious I don't know why Independent didn't set obvious. that up as a choke point. Um, because of mind games, Liru. This is why. Here's the deal, though. You do have dogs. Sparky Dog, or excuse me, Stray Dog, with the Marksman Rifle. He has assumed the Platoon HQ element. And he is watching, uh, that's BTR, maybe checking for a dismount, but he's gonna be in a really good firing position in a little bit. I gotta look into how I'll do, um, instant yeah, replays and stuff, but I'd love there. to get they're something just, like that going. I'm very new to this, so fire. They're pretty me. much unopposed right now. I'm trying to look at that, uh, Gaz with the ZU gun on it, but, um, I'm really not finding it. Someone just got out of the platoon HQ vehicle oh, got the, the marksman gaz, right yeah. there but he's in cover to the marksman <laughs> so check this the gas is coming back to the lower base but boston has reinforced it to the point where the truck can't get back in amazing what so they need the to truck, do with that is that yeah they need to bring that somewhere else because that shilka going right into enemy infantry i guess for a shock unit that was dumb even though the Titan should have hammered it earlier, but I think the Titan guy is trying to heal the Marksman, so if they're able to get him up, uh, this first base is pretty much toast with uh, how many Op4 guys are coming in, even though they got a lot of guys on Overwatch in the back. Also, uh, Sniper Stray Dog is starting to take a few shots. Um, excuse me, not take, but dish out. And I don't think he's landing yep. any hits. He's shooting at the guys in the uh, metal shed. I hear one of them bandaging, though, so... Yeah, and now the question turns from to Green for his AT capabilities with that BTR. They have a number of GP25s, which I believe can, and I'll emphasize that, can damage and outright or possibly disable it. But um, if they don't have any RPGs themselves, and I'm not seeing any so far, uh, um, they might be SOL. So uh, Sergeant Pi is a RPG. Uh, yep. Staff Sergeant Manheim is an RPG. Blake is also an RPG, but yes. Pi and Blake are up here at, at the top. Um, where's Manheim at? Real quick, uh, one of the independent guys triggered an explosive satchel, thinking he saw uh, more than a single guy running up, but it was ineffective. And that BTR-80 Alpha just wounded somebody, uh, trying to pen him through the uh, wall with that 14.5 millimeter. And I think it worked because I've seen. Now we got some down. suppressive fire going in as well. Oh, it's just that angle that it's, that is such a high up angle. You have some return fire coming from Battle Tower One, but I mean, the, the thing is, Op Four are can be very mobile with their positioning. They have this whole ridge line to work with, whereas Green Four have these three battle towers, which are very static in placements. By the way, uh, we do have that uh, Gaz ZU going up the MSR. It's going to try to flank. Uh, and we still have the... Uh, wow, no. Um, Stray Dog managed to injure Platoon HQ in the BTR while he was turned out because his turnout door is uh, open. Huh. Uh, he's back up. Looks like, yep, he woke back up. He is immediately opening fire again. I think he's trying to injure the one dude in that battle tower. But there goes Mannerheim, who was one of the Green 4 ATs. With how just, spread out Independent is, though, this is going to be a tough fight. Sorry, Warwick, go ahead. No, just as a note, I hate those battle towers. They, oh, yeah. Like, they're, they're good if you have the surprise. AT goes out. Ooh, RPG hits the BTR it's and it. knocks him out again, and it's going to start cooking off. It's smoking. It's smoking. Uh, whoever just howled out, I think he's trying to unload the, the buddies inside. Yep, another RPG goes. It's just short, oh, but it's Platoon HQ's through. down. It's brewing. Yep, uh, it's because he's crippled. He gets mowed down. That's going to kill both of them. Yep, because of the explosion. Yep, absolutely. Kaboom. Ouch. So Platoon HQ mocked out. Both Op4 and Independent have lost their commanders. And now it's just going to be a matter of uh, numbers here. And the Gaz of the ZU-23-2 is... He's making his way up that hill. It'll probably be another minute or two, but once he gets up there, he will have a, a I mean, no red core element 
Here's the thing though, Titan is uh, on an overwatch position looking with his camera, might spot that gas coming by, but he just got into defilade, so not sure what's going to happen there. But if that gas tries to make a move, it is going to get killed by that Titan. But you do have Anderson over here. Uh, he is the rightmost guy. I'm trying to scroll down. It appears he is actually shooting up at those three op four guys. If he were to nail that Titan, that Titan could, um, he actually is aiming for the Titan. If he shoots the Titan guy, he's going to ragdoll off and probably die on the uh, fall, but that would nullify op four Titan, meaning that Gaz would be a lot more lethal. Mm-hmm. I'm watching the victory right now, the uh, Titan gunner, but he, he's just looking down between the two bases. He, do, he doesn't even, he's not even considering the fact of a uh, flank. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the, the defilade is blocking his view anyway. So. so I just watched an independent guy uh, with an RPG. He's the guy that killed the BTR. He just got shot by somebody else by um, Shockland. So Shockland, he's lone wolfing around on the left side. He could potentially do some more damage uh, because of how spread out independent is. Op4 just doing a massive concave here and distracting a lot of players. And it looks like... They've taken Battle Tower 1 and they're Anderson's trying to move Battle Tower 3. A charge goes off near 3, but again, it's just ineffective. Mm. So well, by the way, um, Marksman went uh, KIA, so give me your milk. It looks like he's going back for that Marksman rifle. Uh, it's just to his left, but we'll still see independent with that rifle. Uh, Stray Dog repositioning, trying to get some more snipes in on the force moving up. Uh, Platoon HQ just bled out as well, and I just heard something else explode. I don't know what it was, though. And that here comes that, uh, gas. That oh, here we go. Oh, what, what was it? The explosion would be a satchel charge placed by, uh, uh, Sergeant Coda. Uh, he went up there with us, and he placed a satchel charge on our mm -hmm. up there. So... Largely uh, <laughs> the gas almost flipped itself as it, as, it, as it made a turn, but it's now it's gonna be rolling up on it And the thing with the gas um, and the weapon setup is they cannot fire directly front Yep, they're gonna have to, to turn left or right five five degrees or so because uh, it just won't have that kind of depression Give me your milk has taken the SVD, but he's holding back for a second uh, looks like the Range team is looking around. They got the Titan now I'm trying to see, maybe they have an angle on the gas. Nope, not yet. But if that gas gets first shot, they're gonna pretty much kill the three guys up here because they are not well spaced out. Uh, but looks like Titan here spotted. Go, here Here's the sh yeah, their gas is dead. I'm looking. I'm looking at the gas now. Yep, they're lining up now. Uh, both binos are out. Titans out. Uh, gas is in a perfect area to get shot. Where's that shot? I have a little bit of a bias here just because Green 4 was my team. I uh, no, I want Boston to fucking wreck house as well. But with what I'm There's the forward, Titan and that is GG for I... that vehicle. Titan's coming in. 5 Ooh. 4 3 Get some good damage in but then they explodes got some to the good Titan. Damage. Hit four they guys, they're unconscious the, though. And now these three down up here, yeah. all able to bail out as the machine gun now sprays out, but they can get the double taps in. Uh, and they've got access to these gases, which they can use Poop. to make a speedy getaway. Poop One on four guy woke up, yep. And we uh, have, grenadier uh, round just hit him though. He might be getting friendly fired by some spray from uh, friendlies. Ploof went up, we have JSCOL and um, who is this over here? I'm trying to find their name. Um, I have no idea who that is, but they're looking in the complete opposite direction anyway. If the, the Titan has, uh, sorry, go ahead. Well, I was going to say, um, Ploof is medicking himself, but he's pushing up now. Titan, yeah, like you're saying. Titan, Ty give me uh, your milk. Um, I think that's, no, no, it's uh, Victor. He has eyes on the marksman with his thermal scope. He's looking right at Stray Jog. Stray Jog's also looking that way, but I think he's firing into the uh, compound. So I'm wondering if they might risk burning a Titan missile on infantry. Also, uh, Fudgehead Pilot Man has just made it to the coast, and he might finally be useful. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, uh, Wait a second. Wait a second. There's a dude right behind Stray Dog. Yeah, there was a dude up on that ridge for oh, a while. Oh, no. Oh, Stray Dog. You didn't hear the footsteps, and he gets dropped. Oh, oh. no. His body. His Ooh, body. Uh, oh, mm -hmm. 
Dame -o. Dame -o. And his weapon Dame -o. falls further, but I don't think that marksman rifle is going to be uh, grabbable. Because there's no and way in hell they're going to know where that thing the, ended up. Back to the gas ZU truck, Snow is the last man standing. He throws a nade. He's got two dudes right around this corner. You don't think the, the Oppo guys know that he's there. I mean, he does have his buddies down right there. If he were to turn that corner, he'd get an easy kill on the guy bandaging. He's putting an explosive satchel down. He what? A, he is the combat. He's a CE. He's a combat. Nani? I think he's setting a timer on it, but Op4, they're going to be pushing to that objective instead. So I think that's... I, I don't see that as a good call. <laughs> I I don't get it. I don't get it. Why why do you so, do that? So I, I, I Well he woke back up for a second. What? So Please! I want this op four guy to come up and double tap him for that. I'm dying. Fucking Jasol, turn around and kill this idiot. Please. That was I I guess he was gonna try to kill him because he thought they were close. I don't get it. Yeah, that's he, the only that's the only oh, insight I can offer. Oh my god, what? He could I'm probably dying. hear them. He could he could definitely hear them walking around. I don't know why he like He could have uh, I I I can't explain that one. On I honestly there. cannot I, explain that I, one. That that was what, ten seconds? Oh my god, I'm He put it on a five second timer or something. <laughs> Meanwhile, the um, Op4 uh, Overwatch team is firing at the no. other. I'm, I'm just gonna ignore that as ever happening, because that was. Okay. I, I don't know. Here's the thing with the defensive advantage, the three guys at the bottom of the hill might be able to clutch this. Independents um, have pretty much lost the top hill. Uh, the last guy that was up uh, went down. Independent are now crawling down. Uh, actually, there's one guy he's staying. Don't I, I just Anderson has a bit of a what cheeky position right here. <laughs> oh, you're right. Anderson is still up there. He is on top of yeah. the dome. Wow. I could. Yeah, if he enhanced movement up there from the uh, southern yeah. side, yeah. he could have cl climbed up there. Um, so now he's just hunting people. Uh, the thing is, both sides are using AKs. So, you know, weapon PID is oh, um, off I of audio is really tough. Anderson. Someone yeah, just someone, spotted Anderson. And he just took multiple oh. shots from that machine yep. gun. He's, yep. he's now trying to roll away. I don't know how he survived that. He was also getting shot at by another rifleman on the left. Uh, and now someone is in the dome. I'm wondering if they're going to go up and uh, ambush him. I don't know how he's alive. Anderson, I think he's going to take a second to bandage. Uh, looks like on the wounds, it only hit him in the legs because, you know, ace with uh, <laughs> ballistics is silly. I, I just want Op4 to lose. Uh, excuse me, independent to lose at this point. I mean, yeah, it'd be a nice change of pace given the two uh, different um, the, the pre first two missions where attackers just like completely wasted their stuff and Blake just died, came but... in got blown up by a grenadier round after trying to kill Casey but he was saved by the grenadier on the rooftop uh by Sholand uh Anderson is the last guy up here and uh I don't know Independent has three dudes left and Drake is also super duper close Drake so, is honestly in a semi-decent position. He's yeah. going to be working around. And Hold up, Anderson's should... now crawling around again. No one's doing Overwatch. He's got people going up that tower. Get he him, needs Anderson. to kill him. Oh, he needs to kill him. No, don't let them pass. This is the. I think he's trying to line up a shot, him. but just no. wasn't able to. That MG thinking he killed him, I guess, because uh, I don't know why oh, he didn't keep that know, Overwatch. Which... With the top floor of this battle tower, he might be able to... Oh, if he opens up fire now... I think he's just, just trying to catch him alone, because you got to consider... Watch the door. Watch the door. I Anderson, am? That's all I... No, no, no. I'm talking to Anderson. Lamau. Because I... Oh, here we go. Yep. And he... You got you to gotta wow. understand, though. He's in a shit ton oh, of pain. Wow. Op4 doesn't even know where they just got fired from, but he did get mag dumped by a PKM. Oh, and... And yep. Op4 mm -hmm. just spotted him. And uh -huh. now they're trading shots. Oh, Manages to drop the op four guy. Caught reloading and as he's getting oh. sprayed. Oh, 
Oh, and the gravity's gonna. Wow. What? Ah, yes, Anderson pulled the ostrich maneuver in order to hide his head and his body, and instead gets armored and flies into the dome. I think he got shot in the ass by whoever was up in that tower. And I just heard a Titan get launched. Yep, Titan is getting launched at, I think, the battle tower that Night Owl and Dean are in. Here it goes. That is a nasty hit, but uh, minimal damage. I think the. um. The these no things are um what should I call it? Their simulation is it's not disabled. They're just uh, disabled damage because that Titan yeah, yeah. would have uh, done some damage to that tower. Look at Drake! Look at Drake! Look at Drake! Drake's pushing up and Wiki's in the forest to his Yes, left. but we're gonna have fog of war here and they're not gonna see each other. Oh, absolutely! But Drake's pushing in. He's going full Rambo and he uh, he's dropped his long range, but he might still have that short range and been in contact with the rest of Red Fort uh, troops. I mean, all they have to do is demo these caches, so he could just go in there, blow up the cache, and that's GG for Independent. But he honestly, he Independent's only three he dudes. He can just mag dump it. He can dump like four or five mm, mags you're right. it, and that will kill it. Independent is in here, though. Night oh. Owl now crossing in. Oh, Gets he... dropped on the legs! Oh! Beauty. Oh, Night Owl. Beauty. No one expects the Spanish See, Inquisition. Because of the, because of the weapons, Dean is none the wiser. I think... No, with that uh, double tap, he's now flanking around, and now I Dean just needs to needs to dump it. Just just dump the cash. Do oh no, Drake needs to can. dump it. Dean needs to get in here and try to figure out what's going on. I think he thinks there's like a strike team or something in here. But Wiki, Drake Wiki is, is still confused. Holding the corner, Wiki. Yep, he's patrolling around, unsure what's going on. Dean's moving away. Oh, this is such a misplay. But Drake needs to capitalize on this opportunity that he's made. Drake could just mag dump the cash. I don't know why he's not doing that. Take one for the team. Kill the cash. Well, he does, Drake doesn't know who's around him right now, and he saw one other person. So, as in in his mind, he could be, like, he, he could have someone maneuvering on him right now. So I, I I can see where he's coming from, wanting to be as safe as possible. Dean has left the compound entirely and is now in uh, on the perimeter by the bunker and the bar gate. See, Drake, I. It, I mean, obviously, yeah, fog of war, fog of war, you know, he doesn't know who's around him. We have that luxury. You know, I, I know, it. but if you're literally at that objective, I would have just risked it because it's only two mags that can do it. And I'm hoping after he does this perimeter sweep, he decides to go in and mag dump because, I mean, in his shoes, I get playing it safe. But at the same time, he's one dude, probably doesn't have radio range with his other guys, has no idea what's going on. But he Honestly, could like, just risk it. Take one for the team, you know? Exactly. With, with his positioning, I wouldn't be surprised if he starts taking friendly fire because of uh, if, it's, if, that, if his position is not properly uh, relayed. But now that Drake has kind of gone around the perimeter and he doesn't see anyone, I would hope he would go back and just finish off the round. Speaking of which, they still He's have corner it. camping. He is corner camping, which is unfortunate. But they still haven't destroyed the first cache at the top. closest one would be um Sholin, but even he's running away i don't think because they've uh they haven't found the cash yet. oh nope they had a charge on it and there goes that cash uh there's there, no man. pop up though but the thing on the map did disappear so now honestly yeah. just drake needs to get it done uh there was a pop-up for players but not gotcha. spectators. that's fine that's, that's so a shame, but drake is getting a different gun maybe he's checking him for explosives yeah I wonder what um, that was. Oh my god! Um, Shoot the cash. That was oh, night owl. Goes. Hold up! Here we go! Come on. It... Good aim. <laughs> okay. He's trying. Uh, that's one. He's that's trying. Two. That's that that that's something. But he just needs to dump five mags into it or something. Pops a fresh one in. But ah. Uh... So Wiki alerted by those grenades, he's gonna come charging in. He might be able to stop it. I don't know what Drake's doing. Oh, let's go, Wiki. If anyone can, I believe that Wiki can. Now Wiki, that, uh, I think Wiki. just saw his legs. Drake, and, please. Drake. Um, Drake, come on. Drake, for the love of God. Just, okay, switching to a bigger gun. Uh, just mag dump it. Mag dump it. Nope, nope. The lid. The, the lid. lid. The yeah, lid. Yes! And the lid, Drake! Wiki is still... confused? It's an RPG shot land in here. 
Oh, Dean's getting there. shot at by a machine gun, but that doesn't matter. It's all up to Drake. Who just... Uh, Drake, please! No, no, didn't. The lid! Like, I, maybe he, Drake, he might for the be love going by, God. like, old, quote-unquote, old-school armor rules, where to destroy something, you need explosives. So NC used the grenades, but he... Oh, Here no. we go! Here we go! He's getting the lid! It's well established that those will be destroyed by... That's especially since Drake has been here for a while, I think. But yeah. like, nah, he's just going for it. Maybe he got confirmation. Wiki's now company. charging in. Here comes Wiki. Uh, might be a little too little, too late. But Wiki, Wiki, the lid, the Wiki's armoring himself. He armored himself. Drake but just fired. What the actual fuck? You gotta be kidding me. I If I was Wiki, I'd be pissed off because the only reason he got shot was because he got armored off that and went flying too far I, forward. I think he might have lagged out a little bit, but now Drake, he isn't going for the cash kill. He's going to go for the glory. He's going to get the dog tag. And now he's stuck. Wiki. The lid. Oh, uh, yeah, he is. He actually is stuck. The lid. He he's has... trying to hop out. He's trying to hop out. He has been eaten. Oh, wait. Mm, mm, mm. He goes prone. It's a good move. Good technique. 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 Uh, but his technique is um, not working. I play the things. Jeopardy theme, but it's copyright. Oh, he is now oh. on television. Yeah. See, as as a Zeus, I I can't stress this enough. You got if you make a custom base, you have to test buildings, especially if you've made these ramps. So there was detail yeah. put here that, you know, you have to, you can climb on this, but, you know, you got to still test that out because Drake oh, is pretty now, much stuck. Now he's floating and we are in a perpetual state of... He's in the Venus flytrap and he doesn't have an angle on that cache, so he is now essentially stuck. And that's unfortunate. Dean is... Uh, he could have had an angle on Drake, but doesn't. We have Alpha now. We have Sholin, Carpenter. Oh, now I'm seeing names for some reason, but Sholin, Oh, hold up. Carpenter. Drake is now running up. He might be able to get an angle, or he's trying to find a different position where he can run out of this conveyor belt. And well, he's going to try vaulting again, and he's still stuck. He's if I were him, I would just dump what I could and uh, just try to kill the cash. Yep. Drake, you're in prison now. Yeah, okay, go for it. He sees the cash. Eyes on, eyes on, oh, taking the shot. Oh, oh, I thought he got out of there for a second. Come on, Drake. No, no such luck. The lid. Take the shot. The sh take shot. The lid. Take shot. The lid. Take the shot. The lid. Jason Bourne, take the shot. Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. Op 4 is almost at the compound at this point. And they're, they're I mean... I mean, I don't know okay. what's in here, so I can completely understand the Grenadier rounds. I'm curious to see if Drake's going to get shot by his friends. Yeah, because if you notice, he picked up his... Uh, oh, he M81. got out! I think he did. He armed himself, but he got out! I, he picked up an M81 vest. I would not be surprised if he got Miss PID because... And he has an enemy armor. gun. He's, yeah, he's got the wrong gun and wrong vest. I can, I can almost guarantee yep. that he'll get shot. And Dean is still just like poking around. I think he's confused as well as to why like the cash hasn't been blown up yet. Carlson and now running in. Doesn't uh, see Drake. Come on, Carpenter. I come on, Carpenter. Carpenter, Carpenter, come on, do it. Oh, wow, Carpenter, Carpenter didn't, didn't even check his corner. Wow. Oh. Okay. Dude. And Car look at that. Uh, I. Oh I no. And Carpenter knows what to do. And so is Carson. That's gonna be all she wrote. Yeah. Dean is fighting off a like, little bit you of know, contact, but there goes and Dean. In Drake's Dean defense, I I thought you only need like two or three mags to mag dump, at least when I watched it with you. So yeah, that was like nine or ten mags right there. I guess it was a little so bit more. So I'll I'll give it to Drake. I didn't realize it took that many. I thought it was only two or three based on what it I saw previously. Pop up a, a health bar, but that, uh, I, I Regardless, it was drifting on that is a little funky. That was that was definitely an interesting oh, wow. round. Well, that was between the guy pulling himself up, the shelter, the MI-24. Yeah, this has been a night. 
just in this mission alone, this has been a nightmare. I'm, I'm gonna be perfectly honest, I stopped caring after the guy blew himself up. I was like, oh, what yeah. the hell? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I got the 600,000 rating, though. I'm gonna go upstairs, let's listen to debrief. As I fell down the side <laughs> of the mountain. <laughs> that was fun to watch. Oh my god. I, was I just need like, to see everyone's <laughs> replays of that. I just fell down the side of the mountain. You know what's funny, Carpenter, exactly. is that Hill did more damage than the most of our team. Yeah. It, I know. It, it incapacitated about six people and made about half uh, the other ones lose their legs. And about a gallon of blood. <laughs> That's a good night. <laughs> All right, guys, that is it for this Friday night fight. Uh, we saw some really cool plays and we also saw some. Not so much. <laughs> some questionable ones that made me wonder what the heck was going on but hope you guys liked it we'll be back next friday around 8 8 30 because they uh seem to start these a little bit late past the eight o'clock slot we're gonna have another three ops and we'll see how things go i might even um we'll see if we can get a bit of more uh tsb representation in for the next one so we can watch all of our favorites get uh shot to death <laughs> But otherwise, thank you so much for watching, guys. Go operate operationally. I will be back Sunday for the Project 11 finale and another T3 operation. Otherwise, cheers, guys. Have a good one. Go operate operationally.